Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Loose Talk. <laughs> My name is Ayomide Tayo, also known as AOT2. Steve Dede. Yeah, and this is episode... Shagun? 105. 105? Uh -huh. God damn it. You are sleeping on the job as usual. Yeah, as usual. Yeah. He has more important things to do. So. Yeah, like going to... I was calling to Ibadan. I don't know what he's looking for in Ibadan. Uh, that introduction now. Yeah, so... Aside... <laughs> 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 You've had demons since we understand. Osage is not around, you know. Where's Osage? Is? Busy something. Osage is not around. Just that's busy, no, I, don't, I don't even know where Osage is. Why are intercontinental now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Osage is busy. Yeah. Osage, is, Osage is fronting on us. So yeah, yes, man. Nah. Small, 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 you go just move out. Yeah, you know. <laughs> so you your word. Very soon, we'll send a statement from us, you know, about yes. Osage. Yes. No, as Jobani released that statement. You know, as Jobani released it. Don't release our own statement. Osage now will be out back with his own podcast. Yes. <laughs> All right, so we have a wonderful guest here today. Yup. Okay, I'll allow her to introduce us. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no. no. This guy. This guy. I want to get the flow. I want to get the flow. What's her name, bro? No. <laughs> People are already been practicing try. this. Name People are okay, just name. try. To try. Wait, the funny thing is, I've never. <laughs> wait, what I said? I've never seen this surname before, and I've seen a lot of your bad surnames. Yeah. Mm. So this is actually very, very are you, new. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. Uh, so we have to, today. We have. Ayo Deji, Oluwa Sheo, Oshobi. Yeah, yeah, come on. Eight over ten. Yeah, eight. 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 Oh, eight. That's In the civil war, eight over ten. All right, so you guys, if you don't know her, she is the founder, am I right? Yes. Of uh, Stand to End the Rape Initiative. And she's here with us because we keep talking about concert, rape culture in Nigeria, yeah. you know, and other things that, you know, other popular incidents that have happened in the last few months. So. Yeah. We all say, you know what, let's have somebody here just break it down for us. Because you guys say we need a feminine touch yeah. on the podcast. And, you know, we love women. This, this, yeah, this is the most, mis they say this is the most mis misogynistic <laughs> podcast yeah. in the country. I so. don't think so. I don't yeah, they, that's what they said. <laughs> I thought they said we were the most controversial. <laughs> yeah, so it's fine. Anyone, man, as long as it was a nice talk. So, nice to have you here. Very, Thank very you. good to have you. You're yeah. going to be on our best behavior today. <laughs> very, 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 very. But before we delve into, it. you know, the whole, whole rape culture in Nigeria and everything. Yeah. Talking points. Let's just <coughs> trash a few talking points out of the way. What do you have? Okay. Um, I'm sure going sense. Thank God. <laughs> you don't have to give us a scam talking point. Say you don't need to have um, plenty. Big Brother. Big Brother is back. Mm. Let's start with Paddy Adenuga first of all, man. Oh. Number two. Is Paddy here? Yes, now privilege. I'm self me, but my ma daddy has plenty of money. Mm. Uh, I can't hit, bro. I can't hit, bro. <laughs> like, I, 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 was just, I was just reading the. I was just reading that story. <laughs> I flew to Switzerland, I went to, to the Netherlands, I went to, to LA for two months. Yes. I'm like, bro, 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 I can't hate on you, bro. Bro, I can't hate on <laughs> you, bro. Like, I really can hate on you. Like they say, man, in a yeah. room full of millionaires, oh, exactly. if a poor man starts up and says that's an idea. <laughs> yeah. wow. Wow. So I have no opinion. <laughs> Listen, I'm, oh, I'm, Paddy Adenuga is this doing. Is, this is not my life. It's not my life. You don't understand. I can't have an opinion on Paddy's life, on Paddy like, life now. That would be very, very stupid. What do you want me to stupid. talk about this guy? He's, I can't, can't relate. You can't hit outside the club. Bro, you can't get <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to Pastor Chris Brown. I saw people doing yeah. thread. I saw, I saw uh, so an, people are an actress. Or so I, I don't know what's her name again. Like, Shadow, Shadow, people Shadow, are just Shadow, doing thread on this issue. I was like, bro, you can't relate. Yes. You know what I'm saying? How can you tell somebody who says he has a struggle that he doesn't have a struggle? Yes. He has his struggle now. Why you don't struggle by financial? It's, it's about, it's it's about <laughs> positioning <laughs> and everything and his dad's name. It's mm. different. Like, yeah. I, listen, I can't have an opinion on Paddy. I'm not in your tax bracket. I'm not in your tax bracket. I have an opinion. You just have to see, 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 see. I really respect myself. Yeah. The part I say he created, he said he funded, he can put up a team yeah. and he was paying them. I'm Bro. like, hey, <laughs> this is <laughs> Look at life. I, like, there's really no opinion. No, 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 like, no, no, no. you want me to give an opinion on that? They say on somebody who who went to LA for two months yes. just and so went to a Drake and the wing the wing concert. Yes. Just because you're feeling That's bad. The dream, bro. <laughs> do you know bro. what we do when we feel when we have a bad day? <laughs> we go home and sleep. Because <laughs> that is what we can afford. Uh, he went to LA for two months because he had a bad deal. I know we say he entered hotel. He stayed in his apartment. In his apartment, brother. And you want me to have an, an opinion. opinion. Bro, poverty is bad. Poverty is bad. Poverty yeah. will not make you start hating <laughs> success. You <laughs> said somebody, somebody else will get... 
They also own Netherlands, Shell Netherlands. Shell Netherlands. And, and you are hating. You are talking here. Like, you are telling him to go and like see that. Like, you don't know what he's talking about. That is privilege. You should keep quiet. Don't be a dissalat. Sit down. Was it Shell or Chevron? Was it Chevron? Yeah, Chevron. Chevron. Was it Chevron? Yeah. Baba, all that if you now all of them, everybody for you. Now this is the same thing. There's a lot in Nigeria here. You never bid for her. There's a lot in Nigeria. I see there one mask. You never say, okay, this mask on my own. Then you're not saying, oh, I don't like what. Come on, come on. Oh, Jesus. Shout out to shout out to Paddy Adenuga for a young man. Paddy Adenuga can just be where he's right now. Say, look, you know what? My father is Adenuga. I'll just take monthly allowance and I'm good. But he said, like, you know, I want to do something for myself, and he went out of the family way. And almost succeeded. Yeah. Yeah, so right. shout out to him. And if he's one that wrote that blog post, he's a very Bruh. good Bro, you that, broke that, that, that was like 10,000 words. Yeah, that was good. That was it was good. gripping. You couldn't take good. your eyes off yeah, it. You so couldn't. shout out to him. Shout out to him. Man. Yeah, what do you think? Okay, about? so when I saw the article, I fell in love with it. And then I saw people have controversies about it. Oh, it's from a place of um, wealth, yeah, from yeah. privilege. And I, and I just think about it. We all are from a place of privilege. Today. Each and every one of us, because there are people who can't even afford tuition for primary school. Yeah. But we all have our own different privileges, and it's how we use it that matters. So yes, yeah. it's from a wealthy home. It could have just said, you know what, I'm just going to make do what I have and not build on it. Yeah. But he wanted to make a name for himself, wanted to be a business for him. I respect that. I can't. I can't even argue with such dedication and and at work. Yeah. There's something you said earlier. What is your privilege? More privilege. <laughs> He's <laughs> an OG. But <laughs> 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 well, it's something you said now. You said that when you read the article, you fell in love with, you know. A lot of girls all of a sudden started falling in love with No, Pan not with him. But with There's a girl I know. She'll say, can you follow back? <laughs> <laughs> and this is a girl that he just DMs a lot. No, no, Bro. no, no, no. no, Bruh. no, no. <laughs> you blame you, do you blame her? Please, I don't blame her. I don't blame her. Paddy Nigga said he doesn't like girls with weave. <laughs> I hope you know. <laughs> so if you are going with Paddy Nigga, you are going to natural. <laughs> so all those uh, 70k hair. You, know, you got to leave it at home. <laughs> but shout out to Paddy Nigga. Yeah, yeah, respect. Yeah. yeah. And one day you might you might get the, the company. Yeah, 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 yeah. I wish you all the best. Yeah. yeah. It's cool. What else? From Paddy Nigga to Big Brother, it doesn't match now. You know that's, that's, that's the own privilege. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They're in front of the whole world right now. At least Africa. Oh, I really don't know what's happening. Have, have, you, have, you, have, you, have you been watching? No, 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 no. Until they really start dating each other and all that. But they started kissing starts. already now. Yeah, that was just too early. I just felt they were not serious. I, I just wanted to start fighting. But this is my boyfriend. This is my girl. Like, you know when he gets hit? He <laughs> things, he gets, but this one, they started early. Just the second day. Keep, keep, keep loading now. Oh, but it's money now. They're, they're going for that money, man. It's money that will make you go and kiss somebody that you met. This, where, I know the funny thing. The girl that kissed that guy said, when, when, on the opening day, she said, She's not yet for boyfriend or romance. <laughs> <laughs> so they are for eight hours. I don't know what must have happened. <laughs> yeah, it is. Things happen. Things happen. Things happen. I was. I'm not the man I was yesterday. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a new person today. <laughs> we evolve every day, every minute. <laughs> <laughs> and they say you're about demon. Apparently, that they say he's married. married. That is the what? Name. I did not brought out his Ikoyi registry picture <laughs> for you. Oh, that job has already happened. Yeah, your yeah, baba. I it, oh. Baba, what they deny? They say, oi, oi, fam, oi, fam. Oh, yeah, yeah, like, who, who are the guys bringing it out? Like, Twitter, the Twitter, public? Twitter, okay. yeah. Not, not in the house, though. No, no, no not in the house. But still claiming you're not married in the house. I think it's not married. He it's just in a serious relationship. <laughs> and I guess marriage is a serious relationship. Yeah, right? so I mean. that's Tinto Tony now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's Tinto yes. that Tony now. Tinto yes. Tony went there and basically... Just in case you're watching is. Disclaimer, this does not represent my own personal views. Thank you. Oh, of course. Of course. Yeah. Now, everybody yeah. of course yeah. Yeah. But what are your own personal views of Big Brother Nigeria? Um, I watched the other one with Bisola and Ife. Yeah. And shout out to Ife. Yeah, shout out to all of them. And I just kind of thought about what's the value of Big Brother Nigeria uh, for me as, as an individual. What am I watching to gain from it? It's entertainment, it's beautiful, but what else? Yeah. What's the catch point for me? What message are they yeah, people preaching? Are, people are yeah. asking that question since yes. But then it's, it's a game show. It's so, game show, I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah. I just, they should for do you, their like, thing. Not, that's not your cup of tea. It's not, it's really not my own cup of tea, actually, <laughs> but because I'm in this line of business. Yeah. yeah I what's happening. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think doesn't have value to me. And I just well, say, I should, you should leave me alone and watch Big Brother. I'll beg you. I'll say, please, I'll beg, I'll beg you. <laughs> <laughs> but it can be fun. Nobody will tell me to watch Big Brother. Nobody will dead. Your wife will tell you to watch Big Brother. No, she won't tell me. Okay. She knows now. Mrs. Dede, please, if you are listening to this podcast, <laughs> ensure that Steve watches Big Brother Monday to Sunday. <laughs> Thank you very much. Two hours. Thank you. Um, what else again? Um, coalition party, political party. What's happening? OBJ Donadi. That boring party. Oh, what's the name of the party? It's a coalition party. It's not a 
party. It's an organization. Well, it smells like a party. It's a party now. Those guys, those old men that are back again to another game. That's why Obasanjo was writing letter up and down. Somebody is this con. I'm so surprised that Obasanjo can write letter. So. I've never seen somebody who meant to see Europe. Uh, see the Europe. Yoruba boys, they will grow that demoness. Yoruba, uh, Obasanjo still has it. Person that calls it a Yoruba demon. A, a that's like <laughs> that's a demonic. That's like a demonic type. So. Jesus. Yes, when that is that is nickname. A bora wu. A bora is like a demon. So, yeah. and always wear his form. So it's like that's so yeah, you that's understand. Him. He's a, yeah. a Yoruba demon. He, he, he is what he is. <laughs> but between Paddy and Nogas letter and Obi's letter, which one hot pass? Paddy, what's that? Just those political uh, games now. I'm playing games. I don't which which one do you feel has more weight? <sighs> I will go with Paddy. Obasanjo's just letter was very beautiful. It had messages, but I, I just wonder, like, how come it's very close to the election that you found yeah, your voice? Later, so. You know, <laughs> it could have yeah, come earlier, the, the first year of administration or the second year, but why now? But you could have said you're just w watching Buhari to know to what know kind what of what president to be, but now you are, it's confirmed that you know. Hallelujah. Buhari is not who we all thought he was mm. going to be. You know. Mm. On a scam, Jerry, they want all this into Lucky Toe Gate. I can't relate to because we know they no. pass there. <laughs> <laughs> so, how did you, how do you cope with How did you cope with Lucky Toe Gate? I'm begging everybody involved. <laughs> Please help us. Transportation, I'm going to look at for But they say, but they say the, uh, the, the bus fares are not increasing. That's what NURTW say. Hmm. It's until you get to the toll gate. But I don't trust you know. below MCO. But the, it's just on the. <laughs> It was um, it was seventeen naira before. Now it's hundred naira. So there's that's it's no more. It's no, that, that thirteen naira would have effect on every single person on that bus. But you know, buses are one thousand. It shouldn't. Though. It will. No, any artist said they're not increasing bus fares for Danfo. Yeah. Based off that, that, that that's apply the route. Danfo's a hundred naira. Bus fares increased by hundred naira. So I don't know what's going on. Yeah, Obalende to Lekki now is um, two fifty as against two hundred. Yeah. See, at the end of the day, all of us should just be like Paddy Adonoga, be ambitious and buy a car. <laughs> <laughs> but then if you sit by the car, you still have to pay. You buy a helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, gosh. Uh, we'll quickly warned. Any other thing we are leaving out? Nothing. Mm -hmm. There's something we are still leaving out of. Nothing. Okay. Uh, Big Brother Collision Party, Lake Ito Gate. Okay. So, Steve, let's start. What's, what's, what, have you, what have you been up to? Yeah, um, your stand to rape initiative. No, stand to end rape. We are not sorry, raping. Sorry, sorry. Stand to end <laughs> rape, oh, of course. Of course um, yeah. So we have a couple of projects we're working on this year. Yeah. We're working extensively on setting up young people in universities as advocates and stay ambassadors. Yeah. When you hear about a case of sexual harassment in your school, you take action and follow up with the case and ensure that the survivor in question gets support and the qu lecturer in question gets called to the Committee of Sexual Harassment. Yeah. Um, we're trying to do a short film this year as well. We're working on a mobile application wow. for safety. Um, we're building a school of stare. So basically for everyone who says, oh, I didn't know about sexual violence, we're coming for you. We're b b building a platform where you can learn. Yeah. So ignorance is no longer an excuse. Oh. We're working on a lot of other things for this year. Yeah. Um, sounds solid. Sounds solid. Sounds solid. Sounds solid. Like how? How many years now? Have you, have you been we'll be years? four years in June. Four years in June. Wow, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, 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 that's, 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 that's fantastic. How's Thank it been you. so far? Funding, <sighs> logistics, or the operation, 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 wise. operation wise. How's it been so far? Uh, <laughs> it's been a bit hectic because at 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 the start, I had so I had done like five jobs in the UK. Packed all my money together and then I came back stand home stand <laughs> and said I wanted to start this initiative and then I started spending money and money and nothing was coming in for like three years. Oh, I wasn't earning in Naira. Wow. Yeah, I just kept spending all I had saved just for the cost. Um, but I mean, people started seeing the dedication I had for the course and the hard work we put into it. And so they are one naira, they are 20,000, they are 200k, they are half a million. Ooh. They just keep putting and putting it into our accounts. We have donor agencies who say, okay, you know what, you're still young, let's help you grow. So funding have been coming and a lot of Nigerians have been involved as volunteers, as part-time staff, as full-time staff. It has been great. Um, I, I can't say I regret a day starting this organization. It's been an amazing journey for me, learning, meeting people, talking to men, and helping men understand a different aspect of gender equality that they That's never key. knew. 
um, talking to community members about sexual harassment, about gender-based violence, about HIV AIDS, child marriage, female genital mutilation, things I'm very passionate about. So just being able to share my experience and my knowledge with these people is it's been amazing for me. And I keep learning every day. Mm -hmm. do? <clears throat> so um, what do you think about, I don't generalize it and say men in Nigeria are attitude towards rape or sexual harassment. Right. Because we keep getting this, it's always an argument on Twitter. When ladies say, oh, this is sexual harassment. And men are like, this is not mm. sexual harassment. So what do you think the average male, like the average male in Nigeria has a problem understanding sexual harassment and other sexual assaults? I think, I think men, some men, I don't want to generalize because I love men. Um, Thank you for loving us. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. So <laughs> because on Twitter we are scared. Yeah. Yeah. So one time they said they should kill all men and we're really scared right now. Oh I'm, I'm walking around with... I'm so scared. Like I'm, I'm walking around. I'm nearly going to buy a paper spray because I like, never know <laughs> when it's coming. Okay, no. It's, 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 not that, it's not that horrible. Yeah, okay. I think mm. some men <laughs> don't even understand the agency of women in itself before even extending to issues of sexual, sexual harassment, harassment or yeah, yeah. violence. So um, between two parties who are dating, as my boyfriend, you think because you are my boyfriend, then the privilege of you having sexual intercourse with me at any time is there. So because we're in a relationship, I've s I can see I <laughs> No, 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 yeah, this is essential for us, daughter. Yeah, so. so like, you know, people in relationship or men, some men think because we're dating then I have the luxury of having sex with you at, at any time. No, yeah. I have an agency. Yeah. I need to ask sure. for my consent. If I'm in, yeah, if I'm not. So I think a lot of men don't even understand women as an agency, as an individual, before you th think about what they do to them or with them. Okay. So for me, tender age, some boys have been socialized to be the head, while the girls are seen as the lower mm -hmm. sex. So. Shakira, go and cook for your brother. And then yeah. if the brother tries to go into the kitchen, go and watch football. Leave the kitchen. It's not for men. Yeah, yeah. That's a wrong narrative. Yeah, so 100%. you're indirectly depositing a message in the guy that, you know what, this is the place. You have a place already. Yeah. Yeah. And you have, the it boys is. have a place. And then so when they grow up and they socialize, okay, let me use a, a narrative I like to use. So you teach boys to be boys. You know, boys don't cry. Be a man. Toughen up. Don't show emotions. You know, have peers. You have girlfriend. No, are you weak? You know, they ask such questions. But the way you teach girls, teach us to close our legs, be a virgin to your wedding day, don't talk to boys, don't let them touch you, get pregnant, and all those things. So this boy you've taught to be a man and the girl you've taught to be cultured, they meet. Two things will happen. Either one person is willing to bow down, either the boy is saying, you know what, okay, you don't want to have sex, I'll let you go. Yeah. Or, the girl, or one person is going to take it by force. So is that one person bows or takes it? And in most cases, men don't really bow down nah, they sometimes nah, take nah. it so it's it's just from how we've been socialized as men and as women um in in, in society and that's actually translates into how even marriages work mm -hmm. between the husband and the wife where some men see their wives as properties and just people who to who are there to give birth to children and nurture the family and sit at home you're not really contributing anything else let me go out there and work who told you with all my certificates? I don't deserve to make money and build a family. So it's just basically who we are as as a people and what we've been taught from me from a young age. So that translates um, into how we think about sexual harassment and violence. And I see it online where a lady would narrate a case or a deal of sexual harassment and somebody would say, Oh, you doesn't have A and B and C, so it can't be sexual harassment. It doesn't have this element in it, so it's it's, it's not real. For example, the Dolakwa case. Yeah. There was a lady who tweeted and said, how come you have makeup on when you were recording your video? And I asked her, should she have cleaned the makeup and then made no, the that video? Was, that, I think that was very stupid. As in, we just, so. we yeah. always, you know, as men, we, we need to, and I'm using we, so nobody feels attacked. But no, men, <laughs> as <laughs> men, we need to begin to question our actions and our inactions. So, the girl you're with or the person you're with, how do you treat them? When when they say no, do you take their no as no or do you Ah, oh, she will succumb, let me try other and there's this so that's, that's the great part. Uh -huh. that's that's we'll, we'll address everything. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm here for all of that. Right here, right here. So I, I mean like I'm I sometimes like <clears throat> I get home and I tell my wife that I'm tired, man. She'll say, Man, I, I don't care. 
-hmm. right? Like, you know, the thing about marital rape or rape in a relationship, mm -hmm. I, always, I always look at it as there's already a problem. Yeah. You can't, ever, like, there's no, you can't see a couple who are really, really together and tomorrow morning she woke up and said, he raped me. There's always, like, it's always, <coughs> in, that's my own opinion. There's, there's there a problem always been a problem. You know what I mean? Because I sometimes I've asked my wife for sex and I said, you know, even while I was dating too, I've asked my girlfriends for sex and they said I'm tired. I'm like, come on, please now. Like, you don't understand, please now. It's not, it's not something I'm going to force on her. Like, man, open your legs, you know, physically, you know, intimidate her. I'm not going to do that. But true, correct. Let me even use the word correction. If in a way, mm -hmm. I, I, it's kind of like coercing. This is my girlfriend, this is my wife. I kind of like coerce her and say, she does the same thing to me. And she's even more aggressive. And not just, just my wife, even the guests have dated in the past. And they're even more aggressive. Like, man, come on. You don't like. And when we wake up in the morning, we are good. It's not as if because we are, we are already good. There was no. There's, there's, there's not been any kind of like fight or. Or major cracks. We are just sure. good. We are good. Mm -hmm. Nobody is beating anybody. Nobody is forcing anybody. It's just a matter of inconveniencing somebody. That, right. that, I just use the word inconveniencing someone. Or making a sacrifice for the other. I'm people. making. And that's. Me, basically, that's what I think about relationships, even friendship, yeah. colleagues. That's on, that I have friends who come to my house. Anytime they come to my house, they must wear my shoes. And immediately he comes to my house, he stays in Benin. Immediately the day he comes, two of my shoes are missing. I'm like, oh, God. <laughs> we all have that friend. We that's, all have that it's a friend. Like, that's something I'm, that's, he's inconveniencing me. You understand what I'm trying to say? So mm. I don't see a point where two people can be in a relationship. Um, is a relationship of convenience. I'm only going to do something when it's convenient for me. I'm only going to give him his shoes when I have 20. You understand what I'm trying to say? Mm. I'm not forcing, I've not forced any, I've never forced anybody to access. Okay. I've never beaten anybody to access. Ah, please now, come on now. That's what you said yesterday. Like, uh, sometimes my own attitude is I just start um, getting angry. Complaining. Uh, no, right. I don't get angry. I just start complaining. I just start grumbling. Okay. My girlfriend, I remember my, my wife would say, Would you keep quiet there? Are you, are you a baby? Like, we just laugh about it. Like, you know what I'm saying? We just laugh about it. And she, mm. sometimes she's there, I come. Sometimes she says, no. I still sleep. And when I wake up in the morning, we are good. Like, it's not a fight. When you see a couple tomorrow morning, a wife wakes up and say, my husband raised me yesterday night. There must, be, there must have been an issue. And if, if he, like, of course, if he physically dominates her and start beating her, must have sex, that's obviously rape. rape. You understand me? So there must always be... In my opinion, this is my opinion. I feel that there's there's always be that bone of contention. There's always something in that marriage that that brings them to that point okay. where one wants to have sex and the other said no. Let me just jump in. That's right exactly. There. So please I'll jump, have to in. jump in. Exactly. Okay. So first, you have a wrong narrative about rape. Okay. Rape doesn't have to be pounce on me, tear my clothes, tear my bra, okay. and then you do sharp sharp. Right. And that's I'll blame it. Nollywood for that. Yes, yeah. that's <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. and that's why I want to do a short film to correct to all correct those things it. people okay. watched. Um, rape can be coercive, it can be intimidation, it can be sextortion, it can even be R and B, rape and beg. So all those things. No, <laughs> so that thing you said about please now, oh yeah, that now. That question part rape. is the part that that is, that's that is coercion can be. Forceful and it can be very subtle. Yeah. It can be very, very subtle. Okay. You don't need a man to jump on you and pounce on you before it is rape. The moment I am saying no to something and you are trying your best with words, with touches, with whatever and this, it is. Listen, and this does just not happen with rape. No, no, no. Of course, it's a conversation. Mm -hmm. It's not as if it, this happens just with rape. It happens, yeah, sorry. It happens just with sex. It happens with, um, can you please help me? Oh, you are going to make a goosey soup today. When you go to the maker, help me get something for a bonus soup. I want this bonus soup I want to eat today. And she says, no, I'm like, oh, come on now. Please now. Like, it's inconvenience, inconveniencing. That's how I see it. Like, it's just, we're making, why is, well, no, it is not just specific for just sex. If, I, if she asks me for something, I say no. She has to, she will try and convince me. Come on now, please now. So I'm going to jump in right you now. You understand? Oh, yeah. The, nar the narrative you're using to compare, yeah. you can never compare it. You can never, ever. Nothing compares to the body and the value of a woman. You can't compare your friends who comes to pick your shoes or help me buy something at the store. They're two different things. When a woman says no, right? Yeah. I know should be a no. So you mean, and you, need you mean my <coughs> girlfriend and I and my wife will be raping each other? Since. And the issue about it has to be, <laughs> it has to be, um, there has to be, a, there, ha there have to be, a, a there problem. has to have been something that it's happened. Problem, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's yeah. not right. That's not true. 
that women keep silent is because we've been taught to manage in our homes and take how our husbands behave. No, and no, women, no, no. no. Yeah, yeah. And women keep quiet Fitting about it Allah. and they don't say anything. They let men have their way. But if you sit 10 women down and ask them, about their sexual experience with either their husbands or their partners. And it's private. They will break it down to you and how it is breaking them emotionally. But they have to manage it. So that your wife is not complaining yeah. doesn't mean it is right. That she's keeping quiet. Perhaps she honors you and she's trying to manage a marriage or you know, accept you the way you are. But it doesn't make you right. And this doesn't happen from just one party. From both parties. Right? Yeah. At, the, at the point when one party in the marriage yeah. says, I am not interested in having sex today, you need to respect that. You absolutely need to respect it. I am I'm, I'm being 100% yeah. yeah. serious. Yeah. 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 You need to be able to respect that. Yes. But it's not a must we agree on things to, in the, on this podcast. Like, no, we're here yeah. to have a conversation. Yeah. 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 No, you don't need to agree, yeah. but you need to know. Yeah, sure. So, um, in marriage, the certificate joins us together as a party. Yeah. And I'm a Christian, and I like to always use the Bible yeah. as an mm -hmm. example or for reference. The Bible says, wife, love your husband and reference your husband. Yeah. But the, other, the other Bible also says, men, love your wives as Christ loves love the church. The church. If you understand the love that Christ has for the church, okay. you will not violate a woman's body. And it, a, a woman will not violate her husband's body. See, it's our socialization. A man thinks once we are married, a woman thinks once we're married, I mean... I bought the right for your privacy and your body and everything. So, like they say, the two shall become one. Yeah, the two is one. Can you slap yourself? Nope. Or can you actually slap yourself right now? Nope. Okay, so you won't slap yourself, but you will force yourself on your other self. Or your other self will force itself or herself on you. So you're, 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 you're damaging your body, mm -hmm. even though it's not your body physically, mm -hmm. but emotionally and spiritually, it is your body. So I, I don't, I don't um, support coercion, begging. No, no, no. Rape and beg, intimidation. Sextortion is when you're telling the person, and that's what happens a lot in universities, mm -hmm. when you're using your place of authority. Well, that happens a lot. Yeah, that yeah. happens a lot. Yeah. Yeah. To influence um, the receivers, either marks, employment, yeah. status. Yeah. I say you sleep yeah. with me. It's that's, extortion. That's, that's it's that's another that's part that's of that's sexual that's violence. That's so that's yeah. Really yeah. For, for marathon rape, when, yeah. yeah it's inconveniencing, it's abuse and all that. Yeah. But when you have, a, you have a vocal partner who you know is not suffering in silence, mm -hmm. right? And you do these things, and it's not something that she has, she's, she's not okay with. Like me telling, me, my, my girlfriend or my wife telling me, I'm not, I'm not going to have sex with her. And I say, come on now, please now. Please, for a week now, we've not had sex. Come on, please, and she has sex. And she does not see it as an assault, as uh, me violating her. In mm -hmm. that case, what is it? What's so long it? as she gives you her consent, and the consent was enforced. So if I'm telling you no like 16 times, and you still keep pressurizing. No, 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 no. You don't understand. Like, you can't, it's not going to be no for an hour. It's going to be no, just, it can be five minutes, actually. Listen, I'm just trying to paint this thing. Mm -hmm. in. So you mean we can inconvenience, inconvenience each other in everything, but not with sex? What do you mean, convenience like each other? Like a partner, two pa a partner, mm. two partners. Compromising, you mean? Yeah, compromise, like okay. compromising, inconvenience. Like I don't want to have sex now. Marriage is not an inconvenience. You're compromising. Yeah. Okay. Compromise. Yeah. Okay, you're compromising each other. We can compromise with every other thing, but not sex. No. That's what you're saying. No. That's what I'm trying to say. No, that's not what I'm trying to say. Okay. So in cl in places of finance, for example, yeah. mm -hmm. I always respect couples who have conversations and say. I'm going to have my personal account, you have yours, yeah. we can have a joint account or whatever it is. I don't think it is right for a woman to dip into her husband's money because they are married and you don't tell the husband yeah. or he finds out after, oh, yeah, I took it. That's my personal conviction. Yeah. I believe I should ask you. Everything should be content. We are partners. Yeah. So I'm, I'm sure that if I ask you for something, if you can't give it to me, I will respect that decision. But I know you will give it to me if you have it, or if yeah. it's something you're willing to share. Yeah. So now, I might say no, but when you complain to her, I say, okay, take. I might, I might say no. Yeah. You might say no, rather, yeah. and I might go. What if you and you will think about it, like, you know yeah. what? I can actually give her this thing. And I could, babe, I'm good. I mean, let's get down. Let's have sex. Or you can take the money, or you can have the car. It's, see, marriage is a partnership. I'm not married. Yeah. 
but um, I'm I'm dating yeah. and freshly married, please. Don't <laughs> that you have seven years Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> and what I'm looking for in my relationship is not oh I love you, I love you, peck and kiss. I'm yeah. looking for a partnership, yeah. a friendship, someone who I see through him and he sees through me. Like he doesn't have to beg me to want to have sex. Oh, something no. no, no. If I want wait, let me let me let me finish. Really if I want to have sex, yeah. that's me. Yeah. It's something I would do. Yeah. But if I don't want to and I tell you no, I don't expect you. Sometimes we compromise out of love. That but is what, that but is it what does what not mean we're happy with the decision. No, 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 listen. It does not mean we're happy with it. No, no, no. If okay. LOT is my boyfriend, yeah. right? Yeah. And, he, and he's asking me for sex. Continue. <laughs> and, you know, I say no. Because I really don't want to. Yeah, yeah. But I can see it on his face. He's already having that a puppy and dolly face. And he's, yeah, he's already me. giving me attitude, this is kind me. of. 100%, yeah. And because, quote and unquote, I'm either trying to protect our relationship or I don't want to hurt his or, ego. Or maybe just because that's your partner. That's who you really, really, really love. And you're like, okay, I could just come. You know, like you really, really feel that. Man, I really, really like how happy. you're trying to find justification. I'm not finding. Um, it's no, a conversation. It's no, 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 no. It's like, it's, <laughs> no, no. It's not as if you're going. It's, it's not as if you say, "Man, you've been raping you." No, no, no. no I'm going to when feel bad to because it. I'm convinced with my life. You know, right. it's like I don't need anybody's, you know, to say, "Oh, you did this right. Or you did this wrong." Like, mm -hmm. I'm really, really, really convinced with what I did. Like I've not really wronged anybody. That's a fact. The thing is, mm. like you said, even when you don't really want to have it, and you're like, "Man, this guy, oh yeah, just come," right? Mm. Do you think that in self is being like it's an assault? It depends on the mental state of the lady. That's what I'm saying. If the Let me if finish. in her mental state and she's like uh, Let good. Me yeah. <laughs> it depends on her mental state yeah. and it depends on how often it has been happening. Okay. So if for example, you've asked me yesterday, I've told you no. You asked me today, I told I tell you no. Tomorrow I tell you no. Next month I'm like, ah, what I'm about to say gun gun self. I am Sortly forced to give it to you because you've been pestering me for it. Yeah. But if you just, babe, I want to have sex. No, let's have sex now. I really want it. Okay, I'm good. Yeah. It's a different thing. No, but if it's something you've been that's doing, a different thing I've been, I've, I've no, been to, that's I don't think it's a one-time thing. It, no, it's no, not no, like it's, it's, it's not. No, no, it's not as if she refuses sex every day. No, 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 no. It's like it's something that happens once in a very, very long way. It's not as if I ask my wife for sex and sex today she say no. Like. <coughs> Like we are sexually active, we are young people now, so uh -huh. you know, we get down. But the time when she tells so you no, do you take the no at first or are you convinced to try harder and try to convince her? If she, no, if she tells me no sometimes, I'm, I'm really not, I'm re I can really stay with her. So what try. makes you try press to convince her or, or pre press forward? I really don't press. I'm just like, she sees it in my face that I'm, 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 not, I'm not happy. And she so are you, is that, and that's, it happens with her that's, too. That's, yeah. that's a subtle domination. And uh, let me tell you why. We dominate. She's that's the thing. Let we me dominate tell you. each other. We and that's fine. <laughs> I didn't ask too much information on that. Thank you. No, <laughs> and that's, no, 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 that's not too much. And so let me happens, tell you. Let me yeah, tell you what it is. Yeah. I'm looking at your face. And you're already giving me an attitude or should, this I'm not tell something? happy face. Tell something? Happens, so I'm, I'm yeah. kind of subtly coerced True. by your facial expression and attitude. True. It's a different thing if I say no. Yeah. And you take it and you're like, it's all right. I'm adjusting the next minute. Yeah. But the minute I say no, you're like, honey, do you want to eat? No. Are you hungry? No. Yeah. You want to eat? No. You're subtly telling me yeah. that you're not comfortable with my decision. So it's either, you see, the, see the example I give to you? Yeah. Either two things will happen. If that one party will say, you know what, let's, it's fine, let's let it go. Or one party would take it and say, let me tell you, let's get it done. Sometimes I've tried this and I grumble from here to, here to heaven. Yeah. And they look at me like, oh, God, sleep. And I'll sleep and tomorrow morning, we we'll wake up. Yeah, that's what I'm telling you. <laughs> no, on those not, times she not, accepted, is, is she respected anybody. and honored you. On anything, those times, anything. she really? knows there's something established here. Why would we she say no? Sex or we don't have sex. The minute like, she says no, then you know understand? It's not. It's not as if the sex is that uh, that particular nice sex. Our relationship hinges on it. No, is she says yes, she says no. That's my wife. There's nothing. There's no. There's Did you hear? To happen. That's, that's my good. wife. You don't understand? That's the problem. She says that's yes, she says no. Problematic. Tomorrow. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. You don't understand? No, no, no. I get she you. says yes, she says no. It's not as if she says no and we don't have sex. Tomorrow our relationship, our marriage is going to crash. Yeah, our. Our relationship, our marriage is not dependent on that night sex. She knows that. I know that. It's not as if she says no and she, and she says no. And I, we don't have sex that night. Tomorrow I'll wake up and I'm like, you're no longer my wife. Like, it's not, it's, it's not, nobody's forcing anybody. It doesn't she, have to get to that extreme of, you are no longer my wife, be, before it's a problem. The minute my partner yeah. is unhappy with me, 
From I'm that one, happy. That's the point. Why are you carrying face now? Nah. No, no, he's is not, it no, happiness no. face? Yeah. Uh -huh. Why they? Why they change face? <laughs> I'm, not really, <laughs> listen, I'm not really unhappy, and it's something we do. Like See? I'm not really unhappy. Maybe, maybe not unhappy. Maybe I'm, just, I'm not happy. So so what's it? Maybe what's your emotion? Expecting. Okay, listen. What's your emotion? Listen, maybe disappointed. Listen, maybe ah, uh, Steve, when you're coming home tonight, help me buy this and that, and I actually really forget. Uh -huh. I get home. Where is my stuff? You didn't buy it. Now, wow. And we're about to sleep. I'm about to stretch out. Come on, leave me. You didn't buy that thing for me. You know what I mean? I said, okay, no, I'll, I'll, and I sleep, right? Mm -hmm. Or, ah, okay, I'll buy it tomorrow. And I for, see, I really, really forgot. It's not as if I didn't want to buy it. I, bought, I, I even withdrew money from the bank just because of that. And that's one thing you know, women need to understand. Yeah. Yeah. That you don't use situations to starve men of sex. Oh. Because, <laughs> wait, oh. wait, let me tell you what I mean. I know, yeah. I It's okay yeah. for a woman not to want to have sex. Yeah. But what I'm saying is, it needs to be clear when your no is no. And when your no is not based on what like he yeah, said you didn't deserve this for oh, yeah, exactly yeah, yeah, yeah. women no, 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 we, we know when I, we, like I, even from relationships and everything i know when no is no like when a woman tells like wait, listen if a woman doesn't want to have sex with you i know like that's why like, when people say i didn't know she didn't tell me i'm like you are stupid like for me this personally steve all the women i've dated in my life in the relationship i was even in my marriage i know when they don't want it and when this and when they want to use it like to just you know like Get okay, at you as a leverage, you know, right. and that's and it's the leverage one that I beg for. See, honey, I wanted to really buy this thing. I'm sorry, you know, what I'm she's that looking at you because of your face is changing, like things like that. And everybody's good. It's right. not as if when she's really t mm. she traveled today now, she's there's a lot, she's on a long journey back to Lagos. Mm -hmm. And I'll get home today and say, We must have sex. And she says, But that's what men who don't care. That's what I'm that. saying. Like, that's what I'm saying. I'm like, Nah, we must. Like, that's stupidity now. But no, when I see you that, know it as stupidity. Yeah. Some men just see women as their property that they've paid the price yeah. for, yeah. and then the marriage ordinance has joined them together, and no, then they no, become no, 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 no. the man yeah. and the other party, the lesser person in the marriage. So, what I say goes I was having a conversation with someone, yeah. just random conversation. Yeah. She took up a job at the UN, and I was like, Oh, that I love the fact that you're able to travel from where you are to Lagos to take up this job. And she said, mm, I had to ask my husband's permission. I was like, why? So, and because he's the head of the house, he's my husband, he needs to give me permission to travel or to take a job. I said, okay, that's fine. So if your husband yeah, that's the problem here. were to get a job exactly. somewhere else, outside where you're resident, does he have to ask your permission? She said, no. He just needs to tell me that only I'm traveling. I said, ah. Uh -uh. And you don't think there's a problem? That's, that's, an, understanding. For them. that's, an, understand, that's an understanding for them. Even though it might not be ideal. No, no, listen, that's an understanding for them. Uh, listen. I can understand as yeah. a, an understanding. Yeah. But she feels like it's, 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 it's a prerogative for her to ask her husband before. So I was like, if you didn't say yes, she said she'd have left the job. What would you use to feed your family? The husband like, has money now. It does not matter. What, that's the thing. We're partners. In this union, yeah. we're, both, we're both contributing to the marriage, to the yeah. children. That's why a lot of domestic violence occur. Yeah. Because women, some women are not financially dependent. True. Sorry, independent. independent. And so when the case of he slaps me, he hits me, he does this. Where, where, where can I go? Yeah. Where women I don't have a job now. Yeah. I'm just selling Akara at the bus stop or I'm just doing what business. There's in, not moving. In that, in that kind of arrangement, a lot of them think you're not giving, you're not holding women responsible enough. Because if I say woman, you go into a partnership, a, you know, a relationship with a guy, and he says, and you is it gets to a situation where you, you have to take permission from him, and he doesn't have to take from you. Mm. You understand? Like, and you are taking it. Yeah, socialization. It's how we've been brought up. Okay. When women are going into marriage, they tell us you have to persevere. Yeah. You have to be patient. Have to be patient yeah. You have mm -hmm. to be loving. Anytime he open, he ask. You have to open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My mom was at the, that at the reception. reception yeah, yeah, it, it, my mom was at a wedding. I'm so yeah. proud of my mom. And she heard them telling the lady. Nico Latin, Nico shaking. Mama said, eh, Excuse me, man. The moment she can tell your wife is tired, uninterested, is busy, is whatever, respect it. She's contributing to the family as much as you are, if not more. Yeah. So when it comes to her body, she has an agency, regardless of the ring. So let me use an example. If someone sexually molests me or violates me yeah. right now, as a as an unmarried person, yeah. would you be happy about it? No. Would you take it? If someone molests me and abuses me in a marriage, would you be happy about it? No. Some will be happy about it, you know why? Because they think the ring, 
yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. To but then the same right I have as a child yeah. grows with me. Yeah. It doesn't drop at the altar. Yeah, yeah. They don't say, and from today you no longer have uh, human rights and yeah. you're no longer an agency so of your own. Yeah. To the man. It's a partnership, and that's why people abroad yeah. sometimes think they are crazy, but they are looking for a system that works for them. Yeah. Some of them don't go to marriage because the institution itself is problematic. What they do is they do that civil relationship yeah. or me and this person, Long we love each other, we yeah. understand each other. Unguano, put ourselves in the house, we live together. That's Nobody's putting nobody pressure on us. Pay. You married two months, <laughs> two <laughs> months ago, <laughs> how far? Where's shy? Where's a shy drain or yeah, a children? Yeah, yeah. Nobody's true. stressing that's you for that. So the country is like the whole mentality. When we go marry, when we go, uh, went back, oh, they're telling you that children. When we back, when we went back home, when we, when we, a woman came to visit us and was telling my wife, so see, you don't touch his phone. Then you go into his phone and be reading text messages. <laughs> leave him. You see him talking to woman. Woman, leave him. He's your husband. Mm. Right. <laughs> then she left. My mom just came. If you see text message in his phone, pack your load and leave it. Oh no! This is the day. This is the day. See which phone. If you see, look at his phone, if you see any text message, carry your load, go back to your parents' house. What oh, nonsense! Hey, hey, hey. In the phone, and then only look at his phone. <laughs> That's what you were just saying. I was just laughing. No nonsense. You know, and relations advice like when you give women advice like that, and you go to see the one that pains me in his church. No church. The yeah. church service. The church service, they say a lot of misogynistic. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What are that word again? Patriarchal. Petra Petra yeah, yeah. Petra Petra yeah. You know, it's so sometimes I uh, just. Your husband, husband is the head of the home. You yeah, are the, so neck. the neck. It's the neck that turns to the head. <laughs> 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 like, but the head cannot function without the neck. Really? Yeah, but I don't know. Why did that just be the head? I don't know. I don't know. So, so men will be here, we'll be eating outside. What nonsense. I even saw a video where the man said, if you were to be me, I will send you packing. Because I think the man married another wife, yeah. and then she left. The wife left, and then the pastor said, "If I can't, I can't remember the scenario." But I was like, "How? You're in a place of authority to speak the truth and help change our generation so that women can be treated better, yeah. be more respected in society, and you use your platform to actually demean the them." The pastor and I saw, so like, you are telling the man that when your husband is angry like that, don't talk, just keep quiet. Yeah. I'm like, fam. And I was saying this in the congregation, like everybody was listening, and the body tore their mouth. Shit. I was like, yo. <laughs> <laughs> and see, and that's the exciting thing about our age and generation, right? Because, bro, bro, I tell you now, I can't try shit. Like, some of the things I, I look at, some, some of the things I just, I want, like, I just want to say sometimes. I just think, I'm, 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 I'll keep quiet. And like, if I say this, I'm in deep trouble because right now, like, the respect level, and I'm sure 20, 30 years ago, right? A man will not look at his wife like that and say, man, what, that's, that's my wife now. You know, our mother's grandmother stayed in Exactly. It. We're very <laughs> actually unhappy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't agree. If well, you, I think, if, mm -mm. I think for me, I think we are becoming wiser. If you read really history, uh. before colonialism. No, no, I'm before, that's before colonialism. We're not talking about mothers and grandmothers. Of course, we know mothers and grandmothers. No, before colonialism. We know before colonialism. We're working before. We're working. We're really, really The white men came and just spoiled everything. Yeah. So now, this question thing. Right. Mm. <laughs> of my age. Well, you be really quiet. No, 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 because yeah, that's what that. Because now you'll be like, okay, babe, let's have sex, right? Right. The girl comes over to your crib for the night. Let's forget about, oh, the default Nigerian mentality or guys. A girl mm. comes to your house. That's like green light to so have sex. Right. Yeah. Did you call and, me? Uh, yeah, and the girl now says, I now say, okay, well, babe, let's have sex. And she says, no. You're not being a good guy, a child of God. Quote on a quote on yeah. good. You now say, okay, it's cool. And you sleep. The yeah, next day she goes strong. home, she now sends you a text message. Yeah, I thought yeah. you were even going to try harder. Right. Now, doesn't that sign send some double, like, because there's that school of thought yeah, no, no, well, that, no. oh, girls just like me, Shakara, you have to ask them, like, second or three, two or three or four times, just try harder. Okay. Um, one of the things we're doing this year is we're working with boys and men and also women and girls because you have to be assertive. You cannot be the problem we're trying to solve. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can't be. Yeah. You can't be propagating the narrative of, oh, you're not man enough if you don't try harder. Auntie, if you want this thing, collect. Do it. Shout out to those. With and your that's chest. That's the expectation the, Niger the African society puts on women. Too. That we shouldn't be. That shouldn't, they shouldn't. But, but then again, yeah. 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 Because that's, women that's have, just it too. have been yeah. taught not to be sexual. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So at the point where I want to be sexual, I'm thinking, yeah, thinking will you think I'm cheap? Do I need to try harder? Yeah, yeah. So we actually, we're not addressing rape 
from oh don't rape women no yeah, yeah. we're actually addressing it from, from the, women, the yeah. very very not from the women yeah, like from the root from in the itself roots, yeah. women should be liberated if you want women so are sexual yeah. beings yeah. Yeah. so we should be comfortable exactly. in our sexuality if yeah. i'm having sex it's okay to say it yeah. if i want sex I, if i if there's a guy who says I have to buy it, if I can afford it, that's yeah. fine. Yeah. It's his choice, right? Women need to be able to <laughs> say their hearts and say their minds. So that yeah. things, because there are a lot of gray areas when it comes yeah, to sexual violence. Yeah. Yeah. A, lot, a, lot, a lot of gray areas, that's and we need to address, my sister's address them. This thing. The time I wanted to get my, or during that period, I was like, see, let me tell you, this sex thing, these new people, these new guests, you know that feminist, I'm like, this is your wife, wanna be so and they suspect her. <laughs> they go to say you raped them. So I want you to do something, just be a man, eh? Hold yourself sometimes. Hold yourself. You go see, say then like that thing. Really. <laughs> that thing has worked for me. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> so when I see that you are behaving funny and you want to <laughs> so make it up like say, uh, I'll two day forward, uh, I'll just boom. You're boom. <laughs> you're lock off. <laughs> <laughs> and they come. And I'm like, these people are like women, girls, these people are human. Like why mm. does society expect them to like a guy now, right? A guy can be like the most I can have I can keep telling people that I have like Ten girlfriends and mm -hmm. they'll be hailing me. I got a sharp guy. I flay that guy. Ah. But once it's a girl, she's a prostitute. No, do, for women, you, like, you don't have bodies for women. Yeah. You let's say you dated two guys that know each other. Woo. That's a problem because they believe you casted. Them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like that big. So that exactly, big. that's why it's a problem, and that's why you see them. They kind of like hold it, and you know, they tell you no when you mean yes, and it has brought it has brought a lot of problems. <laughs> a lot too. of problems for mm. you know. So it's, it's actually very very dope that you're educating everybody. Mm, yeah, you know, it has to be realistic. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Do you think consent should be taught in schools? Oh yeah, that's interesting. That's one of the things that school of stare is yeah. going to do. So we know that it might be that's that's asking. We might be asking for too much from the universities <laughs> yeah, no. to yeah. put it in their oh, yeah. curriculum Those and stuff. Already. But that's okay. We will create the curriculum ourselves yeah. and take it to schools and teach them. What do the Nigerian parents will be like? I don't know to teach my child yeah, sex. That kind like, sex. So that, that's, that's the reason we go to communities to oh. talk to the stakeholders, the parents, yeah. community leaders, religious leaders, because we tell them, if you equip me with the right information, I'm at a better position to make informed I'm decisions yeah. about my life. But if I, um, if I, mm -hmm. so for example, if my mommy says, okay, let me not use that narrative because it will cause trouble. Um, it's important that we give children or girls the right information. It's very important because yeah. if they don't know and they're doing it behind you, yeah. when the pregnancy comes or uh, when it also happens, big, that's always the fear of almost everything. We, no, pregnancy, what I love about pregnancy is it doesn't hide itself. A Lua Cabo announces itself with full glow. Yeah. And you as the parents will take part in the shame. So it's important you let them know if you want to have sex. I told my mom on their challenge. I said, you see, my brother is, is in the university and I'm sure he has girlfriends. Yeah. I can't say he's having sex, but in his age, I'm sure there'll be a lot of teen pressure or peer pressure. Mom, the best you can do for this boy, give him packs of condom. She didn't understand me. I said, okay, let her try it. <laughs> she bought packs of condom, took it to his room and said, I'm giving you this to make the best decision of your life. And she left. Shout out to them. Shout out to my mom. And my brother came to me and said, wait, mom, she gave me condoms. I said, oh, I did like I didn't. I was like, oh, so how do you feel? He said, he said, now I feel like she understands I'm human. And she understands that I'm a man with, with emotions and things. Yeah, and yeah, this yeah. helps me understand that I need to make better decisions. Yeah. Do you understand? I'll be comfortable now to tell her if I'm having challenges. Maybe there's a girl pressurizing me for sex. I can mm. tell her because she has shown that commitment towards that part of my life. But most parents don't know that part of their lives. They don't even know when their daughters are having sex. They have no idea. Some can't even tell their parents about their menstruation. I told my father. He was the first person I told. I was like, Daddy, I sat on something and I saw blood. I think I might have gotten injured. And he sat me down told me everything I needed to know. And yeah. I was very conscious, I was very educated, very enlightened about my body because yeah. he told me. But imagine I did not know, he didn't tell me anything. And one boy now robs me, small, robs me, and maybe tells me I'm the most beautiful flower in their garden, <laughs> you know? And as a teenager, and people are telling me, yeah. ah, a boy has not touched you. <laughs> you have not arrived. No. And I want to arrive. Yeah. I'll be, but I don't travel. No. So let's arrive. And I get into that, Sexual I like, I like relationship, and I get pregnant. My father said, "Ah, you are a useless child. Yes, I'm useless, but you did not do your job. You yeah. failed at parenting like properly." Sometimes it's good to trust in these young guys. I remember that first when my mom first saw me as a girl, and she yeah. was in, she was doing all those white white mom yeah. white mm. mom shit. Ah, that's fine. Where's she from? 
Wow, okay, but you should know the, you know, Brand Son of whom you are. Uh, yeah, yeah, you know, no, 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 she was just talking about sex, oh, HIV, okay. and all that. Yeah. She was just giving me that, you know, woke mom mm -hmm. advice. Yeah. <laughs> My dad was like, see, you impregnate her, that's, <laughs> the, day, that's the day you leave my house. Right? <laughs> that, that, no, I don't have any problem. If you impregnate her, that's the day But you I leave love my him, house. his father. You know why? <laughs> <laughs> you know I like his dad. <laughs> 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 and that threat, eh, he enter. But it was not a like threat, it. it was a message. Because for <laughs> girls, they tell us when you get pregnant, your life will stop. The boy's life will continue. Yeah, 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 yeah. But for yeah, your yeah. father to be no, telling your own yeah, life yeah, will also be that's affected. That's it helps you make a decision. So it's a leave house. I was like, hey guy, that is me. But that's know. a good that's a good thing. Yeah. That's a good thing. Uh, you were allowed to say you, you've been assaulted before, right? Yes, I have. Yeah. Do you feel do you sometimes feel let me not say insulted. Do you sometimes cough at some rape accusations? Cough. Like scoff doubt at. it. Yeah, yes, come on. Hmm. Like, now what do people call rape? I'm going back to what happened last week with the, uh, that girl and the taxi driver. Right. When she been a little bit like calling him rapist. Do you sometimes just do eh, Okay. So I come from the base or I use my head when I'm thinking. Yeah. And I know I'm going to get a lot of backlash for this, but it's okay. It's, it's just wh it's my what I think. Um, I always analyze the situation properly yeah. and take the facts presented by both parties yeah. or even one party you know, in making my, my judgment. So I saw the video, I saw the comments, yeah. and here is my thought. The Dolapa says he was, sh he was taken out to an unknown destination and she screamed, she yelled, he didn't respond to her. Okay, I heard the side of the story and the guy came out to share his own side of the story and he said he asked for a destination, she refused to state it and then she was calling people on the phone, speaking in a different language. He needed to be sure that he's safe. Yeah. He drove us somewhere. This is my, my take. If I'm in your car and you ask for my destination and I don't tell you, the first thing you should do is report to me on taxi. Right, park yeah. on the road, right there. Report me on taxi if I get out of the car and, and cross to the other side. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And watch me not get out. Just leave me inside there, remove your key. Turn up the ignition and get out, number one. Number two, you can drive to the closest station. Let's say, okay, the police might not be friendly. Drive to the closest fast food or so somewhere public around you. Get out of the car and leave. No, you didn't do that. You said to drive to an unknown destination. Mm -hmm. in, that pos in that situation, so I put myself in that situation. If, I, if I'm in a place where a, a, a guy is taking me to somewhere I don't know, the first thing that comes to mind is call somebody. And I'm not going to be calling in a language you will understand because that's not the plan. Yeah. The plan is for me to tell someone who can come and save me. So if I know that you're Igbo from your name, I'll speak Yoruba. If I know that you're Yoruba and I can speak Hausa to my parents, I'll speak Hausa to them. Just something to help me feel safe, right? So you drive me to an unknown destination and I have a video to show that you're actually trying to pull me out of the car. The car. The moment you take someone away from a destination they are familiar with yeah. and to a place that is unknown, it is abduction. Yeah. To be very, very honest. The rape part of it, I can't tell because the video doesn't show me what was going on fully. Yeah, last week I said it was but, a case of kidnapping. That's but from, from, the, from the context I saw it from, it could, I mean, as, as a person in that situation, I, I would think 1,000 things. Yeah. Definitely. You want to use me for rituals? Yeah. You want to go and rape me? No, but we, you want to, we said it last week, think as, as a woman, the first thing you think, because, because, as a, as because woman, I'm vulnerable, yeah. Yeah. right? So the first thing I'm thinking is security. Yeah. And what is my security issue? I can be sexually molested uh, yeah. at any time, and nobody will believe my story. Because first, somebody said, what were you even doing late at night? Late at night. Yeah, I thought some people were bringing out stupid theories, and I'm like, that's not the case. Yeah. That's this not is, the issue. This is the issue right here. So the the guy might might say, okay, I'm not a rapist, I'm not a kidnapper, but the evidence in front of us or what was presented shows that you actually went Present. against someone's safety. Yeah. You cannot, for God's sake, you cannot say because I didn't tell you my destination. Then you drive me to a house and park there. What are you doing? Mm -hmm. I can use it against you anywhere in the world, anywhere. Park in a, in a, a, a public place. place. Even park, park on the road. Like, it, it, just get out of the car. It was just foolish. And just leave. There's Walk so many away. Things you would have done. 
You just walk away. That's yeah. that's so. You know what even make no, me no, angry no, the most? It's not this case. There's been a case before that. So a yeah, I know, I know that one. Jaken? Yeah, yeah Jaken. Yeah. Jaken is a is a friend of mine. And I'm an artist, by the way. Dope, actually, very very dope. Respect, Jaken. Um, and I saw the video, and you know, he was taken to the police, and things like that. And I personally tweeted at Taxify to say there have been reports, constant reports about your users abusing the clients. I am happy to come together with your team to create a sexual harassment policy if you don't have one yeah. and train your taxi drivers on in this kind of situation. What yeah. can I do? How can I prevent this? Till except Jesus comes tomorrow. They've not accepted for They have yet. not responded to me. I didn't ask for money. I told them I would do it for free because at the end of the day, I don't want to have to have cases to take to the police. I'm, I'm about prevention. Not even, I mean, I do the other part, but I really, really want it to end. They did not respond. And that shows me the quality of the brand and how serious they take these allegations. So when I saw these other guys, on, it wasn't new to me. Yeah. Because, I mean, it has happened before. All you do is put out a statement yeah. and that's it. At, the, at that point in time, if she decides to sue the, the taxi company, she has every right because it was representing mm -hmm. yeah. the company at the time. And so, I don't know, I don't, I don't know what happened because I wasn't there, yeah. but from the evidence, the guy, the guy got it so wrong in yeah. so many places. Yeah. So many things you could have done to avoid the situation. And to the point where I'm spraying pepper spray in your eyes, then I must feel so unsettled about that situation. Like, you must actually be a threat in my face for me to act, because she could have done it from way when he was driving her. Yeah. Do you understand? So at the point where you are dragging me, you don't have to drag. You, you're not even allowed to drag your clients in the first place. If yeah. you understand customer service. Leave, the car there, leave, leave me in the car and be working your own now. Last time I will come down no. by myself. Do you understand? So many avoidable things. I don't know. The guy had, his picture, had a picture or had her accounts in, in, in to request for a taxi fine. So even if, even if she, she carries your car. Cancel the trip. Can't even with, with, with trace her. I don't understand why that guy... He was just being an idiot, basically. So there's just there's an, so an much to t for her yeah. to say, you know what, I was being abducted. Yeah. There's so much for her to say, you know what, he was trying to, maybe wanted to rape me. Because yeah. first in his safety. So, hi, Delacqua, I hope you're well. I hope Wait, you're good. Were you surprised when the mob, the Twitter mob started at for, um, punching holes in in her story? Yeah, that's, that's Because that, that happens a lot. Yeah, a, 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 a chick will come out and say, this happened, this happened, this happened. And right. instead of people judging the facts, they now start digging into the background or the the character of the woman involved. I think the problem stems from people's belief of this is the era for anyone to come out and say I've been raped and they are believed automatically. Like there's no investigation done, there's no facts finding, they just believe them. So already there is a wall of shield people have when anyone comes out. Like how are we sure you're not lying? That's what comes to their head first. So they have to find every hole in your story to validate their own beliefs and their, their thought process. And that just shows me that I have more work to do. And it's, I love it. I love to hear perspectives because it, it helps me understand where I need to do more research, where I need to work harder to change perspectives. Um, there was a story that we took up of where um, the person in question said because the lady accepted head, then she might as well have accepted that they would have sex, right? See, asking, do you want to have sex, does not take more than 10 seconds. It doesn't take that much. Do you want to have sex? No. Lock, lock but, up. Okay, let's, 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 let's stop it. But sorry, yeah, yeah. In, in that aspect mm -hmm. of where, because to the average male, let me put yeah. Nigerian male, mm. if, if already I'm giving you oral sex, that's yeah. like halfway, that's like, Oh, let's just why, why not just go the way? Yeah, I've been but in a situation where my body. you see, where I yeah, decide. Let me ask you something. I've been, I've been in a situation where mm. you know we are in the heat of the moment. Yeah, we we'll both get off, like we we'll both you know pull our clothes and everything, and then later on, should not tell you that. Later, on, like not, maybe nothing happened. Maybe mm. we just lost. Maybe interest. we just lost interest mm -hmm. or something. Should I? Like, hey, you know that time I didn't want to have sex. So. But. Isn't it, isn't it something we start telling women that if you really don't want to have sex, don't go this far. 
sometimes. Like, <laughs> yeah, because yeah, I don't like, you confuse to a guy. Yeah. <laughs> when you're naked in front of. Exactly. Like, you, you guys, then, you're kissing, like, you're touching each other, you, you're naked. Sex, and you're like. And you're telling me wow. later on because maybe something happened and we lost interest. I think. Because trust me, men do not have that self control. Yo, and you're saying. But then that narrative makes us think that men are animals who no, can't no, control no. themselves. Listen, no, but listen, the thing no, is. If, if, every man has self control. Isn't it yeah, everybody. Yeah, yeah, listen, isn't it possible that we start telling women to listen? That no, get your boundaries. If you don't want to have sex, leave that guy alone. Which one is we can get naked, I can give you head, you can give me head, then we cannot have sex? Let's be realistic. Listen, it's very, very PC to say, uh, even if you, you guys are naked and, it's, and she says stop, you have to stop. It's a very PC thing to say. It's fantastic. To, uh, that's, what, that's what me and me are preaching. Guys, if a girl, you are, you are playing with a girl and she says stop, you're naked, your, your, hands, your hands, you've been everywhere, and he says don't penetrate, stop. It's very PC thing to say. But what about telling women, but if you don't really want to have sex with that guy, don't go that far. Is it, is it a bad thing to say? Hmm. It's not a bad thing to say. Yeah. Absolutely not a bad thing to say. And it's part of the messaging and um, the changing of perspectives and perceptions. Yeah. But I just wa I want to draw your attention to the fact that women are agencies on their own, yeah. same as men. And maybe from the start, the person was interested in having sex from the very get go. But it's okay to lose interest if I'm negotiating to buy something, right? And I'm in the place, I'm, I've got an invoice, I've given my commitment, I know what I want to buy or purchase for me. Just an yeah. example, a generic example. Yeah. It's okay for you not to buy again. Sure. It's very much okay. But go pay me because I don't. No, listen. I that's offense. the point. <laughs> it, will, it, will, it will hurt you. But yeah. then again, I, yeah. as an individual, have the, yeah, you have the right. Yes, and you know, we, we can be having sex, true, true, true. and you tell me you're not doing stop. it again. Yeah. It's your body. Yeah. Do you know what, what where it gets difficult sometimes? No. Because when they get to this point, the guy doesn't have to be physical. To, to, to the guy doesn't even have to do much to force her. Like the guy, sometimes the guy won't even force her because they're already in that kind of position. The guy might end up having sex, and later on you start hearing, "I wasn't really interested in that sex." You understand what I'm trying to say? Okay. I was. Yeah, it's, they, were, they did have this conversation before about are you interested in sex or should you just play and stop there? So maybe in the heat of the moment, they just had sex. And later on, you'll be hearing, do you know that sex we had? I wasn't really into it. I didn't really consent to it. You understand? I only wanted us to just play, pull our clothes and touch each other. But I didn't really want it to penetrate. You understand what I'm trying to say? The guy didn't, as at that time, wasn't, as at the time of, you know, playing and before penetration, wasn't forceful or anything. We must have sex. It was not mm. something that happened in the heat of the moment. In that heat of the moment, yeah. did she say, I don't want to do this anymore. No, sometimes they says uh, no. Sometimes they don't even say anything. Okay. And later on, they don't say. Okay. They don't say. At the point it. when you don't tell me, or I don't, I don't get any verbal or physical message, yeah, yeah, yeah. because consent doesn't only only have to be physical. Yeah. It can also be body, you know. True. So at the point where you're not getting verbal or body con um, bodily message yeah, 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 yeah. or consent. Then I, as an individual, yeah. do not see where crossing the line is. Yeah. Wait, I don't see where you're crossing the line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because there was nothing from the other party saying... Yeah. yeah. yeah that's why so I it's important that, yeah, that at the point where you know yes. in your heart that, you know, I'm not digging out. this, please yes. say it out. And when they say it, man, please, yeah, you know what, I'm not begging you. You have to yeah, yeah. accept it yeah. because you are an agency, I am an agency. I'm giving you this part of my body. Yeah. I'm not giving you everything. It's my choice. Yeah. I'm giving you everything. It's my choice. You want to give me all of your body? It's your choice. Yeah. See, if we, if we all understand the principle of choice, yeah. we'll be good. Yeah. We will need to talk about consent. Sure. We need to talk about, oh, if a man is trying to harass you, is he ra if you understand choice, but you're about to say, something like that. Yeah. It means, I'm not really good with your robot. It means this is how I am going to do <laughs> Right. <laughs> this is how I'm going to do my thing. Does not change. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's women it's important for women to be expressive. Yeah. Don't be afraid to say you don't want to do this, even at, at some yeah. point. Yeah. Don't be afraid to say it. And men also need to respect that decision at that time. Yeah. Very important. I'm, 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 of, I'm of this opinion that if you're hitting it as a guy and she says stop, you have to stop because one, you're whack. 
No, that one is definitely. If you're that good, she will even remember to say because stop. No, that's, like, that's so, not right. Nah, that's, I'm, that's I'm telling you, man. Mm -mm. Listen, the biology. Listen, man. This is the body. That's this like, is the that's body. Like, that's like, real like, here. Nah. This is the body, and you Wait, guys are into sex. Say, I try to say the guy should stop. The guy should stop. What should, if you, you guys? Yeah, are, if she says no, that's yeah, what I'm saying. You even have to stop because no, but for you to say that for her to complain about no. Yeah, you're you're not doing it well. That's not right. I understand because it is. It's not. No, no, no. Biology. Let me. No, it's not biology. It's actually mental. Okay. So that's the thing. You men think about the physical alone. Oh, okay. Women think about the mental part of it, which I'm is more. Not, I'm not, you can't blame me. I'm a man now. That you don't understand. You say we think about. You say you said it yourself. Yes, socialization. Think about the physical. Yeah. And women think about the mental. Yeah. So we're but teaching you. Here. So that's what we're teaching you. That's really your mental. <laughs> <laughs> so how <I'm> do? <laughs> so the thing is, that mental. No matter how yeah. good a man is, yeah. sometimes it could it could actually be hurting the person. Number thing, one. No, 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 number two. You don't I'm taking this I understand so. what you mean. Yeah. I really do. But yeah. it's not right. Because sometimes you don't know the person you're really with. Yeah. Women sometimes try to close a chapter of their life so bad yeah. that they begin to paint a different picture. A picture, yeah, yeah, yeah. You have no idea that person had experienced sexual violence before. And maybe something you had said at that time, you know, someone will Call me mommy, call yeah, me yeah, daddy, yeah, yeah. things and like that. That's what an abuser said. Yeah. You know, no freak out, like, it could yeah. have triggered that person. Oh, I see. Okay, I see and she could have said no, no, yeah. stop it, stop it. And like the primary message here is stop. Just stop it. Me, I've said stop. Regardless yeah. of what the person might yeah. have gone through or not, yeah. just stop. After yeah. you stop it, you see, again, relationship is partnership and friendship. It is. It is. After the thing, someone, sit, yeah. down, sit down, and start babe. Talking. What thing yeah. happened? Was I hurting yeah, you? Yeah. Did I do anything wrong? Was I not having sex? What if the person is just your friend with benefit? Like, you see what I was saying about. You see what I was saying earlier about what? partnership, about uh, broken relationships and all that. Mm. It's only when a relationship is broken, when there's no real partnership, that's when a guy, a girl can say, a woman can say, I don't want to have sex, and a man will say, I must have sex. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Say, yeah, when I do. Real partnership, and when you really you have, have that conversation. Like, well, like Babe, I was telling you that on? my wife can never say no and I look at her and she means no and she really means no i will not know i will know that she says no because at this is somebody i really really know you understand me right. but if it's that a play play no i know say ah, this one and the one i feel beg enter maybe she just she, she, they try catch me for something you know someone i'm trying to say but a woman that i really know i know she says no she means no i'm going to leave her alone that's what that's what, what i was trying to paint before maybe i didn't put you i'm just trying to say is when a relationship a, a relationship is broken either a man is being an animal trying to exert dominance and saying, I'm your husband, I own you, I must have sex with you. Mm. That's already a broken relationship. That's not a partnership. Yeah. Two or, even if, he's a, even if he doesn't have that animal instinct of saying, I'm going to dominate you, he's just saying, um, I just want to have sex. That means he doesn't really understand. That means there's no partnership. If you have partnership with somebody, you really, really should understand. Yeah. My wife will step in here, even if she, yeah, and she's not angry and she's not happy with me. Even if she laughs and greets everybody You here, can tell. I can tell right. that man, I fucked up. That's, that's what I was really saying. Really really consent yeah, exactly. doesn't have to only be verbal. Yeah, it doesn't yeah. have to be verbal. Yeah. So if you really, really understand, that's why the essence of that's the essence of partnership and friendship of yeah. knowing, really, really knowing somebody that you're yeah. with. If you really know them, you won't have this problem because when you see that vibe, ah, you're not vibe. It could, it could, it could, it could <laughs> even, it could even be, yeah. um, because I've met people who before they got into marriage, they didn't have some conversations about sex. Yes, yeah, yes. yeah that's, and that's yes. Like that. when they go into marriage. The husband is always complaining. That's why she cut it short. And that might come from the part of the girl too, because of the way she's raised. She doesn't want to bring up that conversation. Maybe the boy no good thing say she don't spoil. Don't you understand? Things like that. Too. Ah, if I talk up now, yeah. this guy, if you know, marry that's, me again. That's valid. And you that's know? why parents, yeah. you know, have to women, have this we have our own agency. We are allowed to like sex. If we want to have it, we're good. We're good. <laughs> um, but back to what I, I was um, um, trying to paint earlier. They come together and then. The married life is that if he touches his wife, mm, the body doesn't understand. Yeah. Do everything, mm, she's not moving. I know people who don't like sex. Facts. They don't like it. Yeah, facts. Like at all. Yeah. And the first thing I tell them is have that conversation with your partner. Like if there's anything therapy can do, therapy will fix it. If there's anything medicine, medicine can do, can do it can fix it. it. Yeah. But you need to have that conversation. You can't just get into the marriage and then. Mm. Uh, it will cause problems. It's, cause it's, it's, yeah. it's a partnership. That's why going to uni like every weekend. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't make it right. I don't know. That doesn't make it right. I'm not <laughs> saying though. <laughs> because saying there are times where men travel for months yeah. and women still keep them. That's the thing. We were taught to keep 
ourselves. Yeah, women have you know? like yeah. 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 So, and that's why you see, we sometimes get threatened by that whole whole movement, whole, whole, whole in, in quotes. Yeah, whole when we say a woman who is really, really sexually free, you see men who are threatened by it. Yeah. You yeah. understand? Yeah. Because yeah. it's not something that we are used to. You're used to. to. <laughs> so, so, if I get this one, oh, if I get this one, one oh, my. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. it's exactly. But it's not true. It's because those women are just, found listen, it's just who they the, are. It's just insecurity. It's not yeah. as if a woman who is sexually free is a prostitute. And yeah. It's just that insecurity that we men have. And apart from insecurity, it's just a whole new thing. And when you see something, when there's that kind of change, you're just afraid. Like, this how will I do And this insecurity comes from what you expect, what the society has taught you to expect from women. Yeah. yeah. That they have to be closed yeah. up and, you know. It's crazy. Do you... What brings that part of a... Like, somebody who has been a victim of a sort of rape? What brings up that I'm... The, I'm I'm at four here. What brings that? Hmm. Okay. When you so, start blaming yourself. Um, for some people who their parents have told them how their virginity is what will make the man stay and is the gift That's for the marriage. Anyway. Yeah. You know, at that point where you lose your virginity or um, someone takes your body or your bodily consent away from you, you feel like you have violated a principle of womanhood and the essence of your humanity in total. Mm -hmm. Like your vagina is all that makes you a woman, is all that yeah. makes you marriage, you know? So you begin to blame yourself, like, how could I let myself be used in such a way? Like, how could I have gone to that kind of place at that time? How could I have worn what I was wearing? Why was I out at 11 p.m.? Why did I smile with him? Perhaps if I didn't smile, maybe it just wouldn't have taken advantage. You know, we begin to see ourselves as the person who facilitated the issue. Yeah. As against seeing rape as a thing of power, coercion, and dominance. That's what rape really, really is. Yeah. It's not really about how much I dress or how much mm. I don't dress. Yeah. I mean, who made you the judge of this undressing anyway? Yeah. It's not about where I'm at at night or who I'm with. Yeah. How is that your business? It's, it's, it's my privacy. It's, it's where I want to be. But who I'm with, then begins to see that, oh, maybe because she's dancing this way or she's talking freely about sex, she might want it. She might want, yeah. You know? She's a freak, so she, she might want it. Exactly. And then you take advantage of, of that and you just... So women begin to think, or girls, whoever, or men, because I've met men who yeah. were sexually violated as well. You begin to blame yourself. For men, it's always about, no. how could I be so weak that a woman would overpower me or that a fellow man like me, you know, it's ego, yeah. a fellow man like me, who overpower me. For women, it's about how could I let my self-worth, because I, we were told our worth is not here, yeah. but down there. How could I let my worth be taken away from me, you know, in such a violent way? So there's, there's so much. I can't speak for everyone yeah. um, because we have different cases, different experiences. Uh, but generally across board, I think it's, I've just, I've, I've dealt with over 300 clients. Dang. And what, what I hear from most of them is, I put myself in that position. Mm. If I'd not gone there at that time, or if I wasn't wearing this, or if I didn't smile with him, or if I was not dating him, or yeah. something. It's just about, they just see that they are contributing to the, to, to the incident. They don't see themselves as, as the one who experienced the violation or a victim. Yeah. They see themselves as a perpetrator, quote and unquote, of mm. the violence against their bodies. Okay, I want to move into... Let me ask this for another question. All right. <clears throat> so the, the, the concept of playing, like a guy being a player, you know, lying to women um, about maybe intentions or just generally, you know what, like, if, if the, the perception of a player is having yeah. so many girlfriends. Not likes to get sex. Disappoint, like, you know, disappointing guy, girls, maybe mm. a girl who thinks, maybe a girl who thinks this is my, you know, boyfriend, a long time relationship, mm -hmm. and after two months, he, she, or immediately he has sex, he gets sex, he calls up the relationship, or things like that. Do we have a term for it? Like, is this something, is it, is it in this assault? This is it a spectrum? Is it a spectrum of, of sexual assault? Hmm, that's a very, very good question. Um, for me personally, um, it's under sextortion because the moment where you are falsifying information or you are using your place of power to dominate me. So, example, if you're if you're telling me this is who you are, yeah. I'm not really that person. You violated me. You have violated my rights. I'm not really like verbal telling, like 
intention. Like, I don't know how to put it. A guy will come, take you on dates. It's not, this it's, guy is serious. It's not rape. He has not told you yeah? anything. Yeah, it's not rape. Yeah, that's there are different forms of... He has not yeah. told you anything. No. He's just been a nice guy, asking you out. Can you be my girlfriend? Yeah. And you look at this guy has been treating me really, really well. You know? And you have sex with then him. Really hits. Hit and run. Then that's not rape because you I, I know consent. that's not rape. I'm just saying in the in the spectrum of sexual assault, is it anywhere? Yeah, it's just extortion, right? Okay. Yeah, yeah it's, 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 it's just sextortion. You extorted yeah. me for sex. Basically, you're about demons. Should I go on here now? <laughs> Continue. Continue. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's move, let's <laughs> move away from like relationships and everything. Like yeah. off its culture now. Like, yeah, sexual harassment. Is, is it right for you to look at your female colleague and say, man, you're looking very sexy today? Ha. Huh. It depends on what sexual... What... That's that's a very good question. Yeah, because like, oh, babe, is, yeah, you is look very hot. Is, is, is looking at is being sexually attracted to a woman disrespectful to her? No, except you act upon it physically and verbally. But what oh, if? Oh yeah yeah. yeah. But okay, what if you say? Just, uh, yeah yeah. But what if you say? You say, say it, if you act on it verbally or physically? Yeah uh, yeah yeah. That's I get it. It. But what I if you say? It. Oh. Um, so, but how do you how do you draw that? Like, because some people will actually take it like. How do you draw that line? Like when you, when you are physically. I have a question, sir. Yeah. If a ma, yeah. see you on the road, I say, brother ma, I like your bum. It looks really good. Yeah. Is it eating knuckles for dinner now? Huh? Is it eating knuckles for dinner? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> How do you feel? <laughs> uh -huh. No, like, no guy in Lagos is going to tell me that. Let's but you know, it's okay. It's okay. But it's okay to, for a man to do that. Yes, yeah, it's, it's okay, but it, it has never happened to me. It doesn't happen to me. Right. Yeah. But if you just meet like your female colleague and say, man, you are looking very sexy today. Yeah, I've thank God in my life, I've never even thought about in a, in, that. In a, in a, does that cross any line? In a proper work structure. In a proper yeah. work structure. You look good. Yeah. I like how, I like your dress or yeah. your dress looks, suits you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like the color of your dress because it suits your skin tone. Yeah. Those are great compliments. Are good, yeah. But you look sexy. For a walk. Excuse me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have one quail. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, think it, I think it's inappropriate for you to yeah, tell a woman she looks sexy. She mm. looks sexy. In the workplace, if you're a partner, yeah. it's no, okay. Funny, it's intimate. Yeah. Yeah, 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 Those yeah. are intimate things, you know. <laughs> I can say, "Oh, you look handsome." It's fine. Yeah. But when I begin to say, oh, "Guy, you look sexy," how would you feel? It gets get us when Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but honestly, yeah, I, I really want to know. I'm like, because it really hurts me if I, when I always have to reverse the role. I won't say I won't say anything bad in it. I'm like, oh, maybe she just likes me. I'm, I'm, I'm not tripping. Like. Yeah. If a chick legit, if a chick and working legit, legit, legitimately tells me, oh, you look sexy today, I'm like, yeah. in a workplace, it's inappropriate. It's inappropriate. I yeah, yeah, yeah but listen, I don't even, I don't even say your skin or clothes. I don't. Good morning and good afternoon. <laughs> I, don't, I, I didn't know now. I don't. See. Because, you know why? I do, you know why I do that? Because yeah. you don't know where you're crossing everybody, the line. Everybody exactly. Everybody who have the, they don't have their own, you know. Different That's values. why it's important that for yeah. every company to have a sexual harassment policy. No, yeah. so we do, we do. Yeah. So you know what is what acceptable you, what and what yeah. is not acceptable, yeah. and you can be friends. You can yeah. be absolutely good friends. Yeah, and yeah. You're crazy, you're mad. Yeah. It's not it's right, not, but yeah. because you have yeah. that kind of a sure. relationship, yeah. it's yeah, it can be allowed. Okay, yeah. But if I'm a new staff, for example, yeah. I resume on Monday, yeah. and then you now tell me, huh? How did you look sexy? That's, that's something good. Problem, not that's good. That's good. Oh, that's you know, problem. That's good. That's it's, it's not. You're much of the terms of the story. <laughs> it's not really a right it. word <laughs> to use in, in a work environment. Yeah, it is. It's, 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 it's not. There's so many other things you could say to appreciate yeah. your colleague, yeah. but always keep. You know where to draw the boundary. You know, yeah. as individuals, we know where you know that. You say something like, ah, that's what I say. You know, enter. you know, it's pure, be no pure. Just that you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it's just important that so you don't put yourself in that position where yeah. people are beginning to say, I used to hear, me used to say this. That boy is is clinical. Is no. Yeah, what make, what makes me uncomfortable these days? Yeah. I even have that problem with my wife because she's every Saturday morning is a when I come when anytime I come back from play. People never drink, give me drinky. This is your office. Uh, ha! Uh, you will trend on shagun. social media. Just joking. Anything you just shagun. <laughs> Every Saturday morning now, is, I just come out from playing football. I don't know what brings that. What did they bring that game? It's, it's always Twitter. It's always lecture on gender issues. I'm like, okay. Because you know that you need it. <laughs> <laughs> so, the thing is, what always makes me, because she has that problem too. Anytime she's reading Twitter, she's like, this guy is an idiot. Like, why is, like, the cancel, the cancelling culture is now mad because it's not about, especially from women, because somebody does not agree with, with something. With you. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. don't you think, it's about like this is kind of conversation you have. I'm sure I've said something that you like, mm, but it's not something you, you can't cancel me like that because mm. you actually is we are learning. You understand me? We're still 
Like, we really want to learn. We, I, I, I'm really not happy seeing women always complaining. And I feel some of these guys, they're not doing that of bad. They don't really know better. That's my own opinion. No? I just feel people, no, no. I'm not talking, I know, I know that, that evil people now. <laughs> that evil people are. <laughs> like, I'm just saying that people who really do, don't know how to, how to navigate these right. boundaries. That is, like, don't you think we need more education? I understand women saying we've suffered for a long time. You people don't want to hear what now. Mm. Let's, you understand what I'm trying to say? This counseling culture is, is they pay me, Sha. I think, I think it's important that we create a platform where we are all free and able to learn. Yeah. I'm here to learn and I'm here to share. Yeah. That's what I love to do. Yeah. And so when a man does not say something that I align with, I don't ca cancel you. Yeah. Because it's an opportunity for me to actually tell you how I feel. Yeah. I would rub minds on it and would both learn. Yeah. Do you get? Yeah. Um, for some people, I've seen people who are actually misogynistic, yeah. but they wrap it with wokeness <laughs> and intellectual, yeah, yeah, yeah. Twitter intellectual, something, something, something. Yeah. They absolutely are patriarchal in their tone, in their language, in the understanding of women's issues. Yeah. And some have just refused to learn. They've refused to see gender equality as an important issue. So in those cases, I think my family are calling me. <laughs> How did I know? <laughs> <laughs> like, what? Um, in those cases, um, it's, 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 it's easy to get angry, like, ah, ah. Yeah, I saw it is a yeah, 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 do you understand? Yeah. People get upset like we've been saying these things for a long time. You should learn. Yeah. But with that being said, I think we need a level ground. Because if we're talking and I'm yelling and you're talking, you're le yelling, we're not learning. Yeah. And there's no information being passed because I can't really hear you, you can't yeah. really hear me. Yeah. So Twitter needs to be a safe space for us to actually engage. And that was how Stand to End Up Initiative started. It was a Twitter handle. Wait, hold on, sorry. Hey, you can pick yeah. it. Hi, mommy. Yeah, this is this loose talk. I'm at an interview, so I'll call you when I'm done, okay? Okay, thanks, bye. Um, so we need a level ground for us to share minds, you know, um, to share information. But importantly, we need an open mind for men to actually yeah. listen. Yeah. Because I had a conversation with, with a man two days ago, and... He said he, he kept talking about women's issues and things, and I said, "Okay, this is what I think." And I was like, "Oh wow, he never knew about this." I said, "Because you are not listening to women; <laughs> you're only hearing them." But yeah. I'm here to help you listen properly and yeah. get it. Yeah. So it's just important that men listen and genuinely listen, yeah. not listen to be tw Twitter intellectual whatever yeah, wokeness. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. listen because in your own home, in your own family, yeah, yeah, yeah. at your workplace, yeah. you can make a difference. Yeah. Last week we were cooking. My brother decided to be pinging. I said, squeeze me. It's like, you don't know. That's the way they born you. They born me. <laughs> <laughs> Wish me. We both have equal rights. Yeah. Find your way inside the kitchen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He thought I was joking. He came in. You know, boys now, nah? use a goju. Search through. Mommy, we're all done. Sis, we're all done. I said, you're doing great. You're doing amazing. And he went. I carried the okra and the bowl. I took it to him and told him all of this. Till 11 p.m. you will not finish, I know, but you will finish it. And I gave it to him, and I went back to cooking. It's just helping in your own little way, to help, you know. Yeah, help them understand that, hey, listen, I can't keep complaining about this externally, and internally is happening. I need to fix it. So now, this week, he has already said, oh, what will I be doing in the kitchen? I said, great. You're catching up really fast. You know, I'm trying to influence my own brother, so that when yeah. his wife is cooking tomorrow, he's not reading newspaper. Who he help? Or playing PS4. Or playing PS4, you know? <laughs> so it's just, it's just Bruh. very important. <laughs> I don't know, I'm so far shy. <laughs> Do you feel attacked? <laughs> Do you feel attacked? No, 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 like, the, the, uh, I mean, I'll be, I'll be cooked these days now. Mm. Mm. So this conversation here isn't you just know? for you to listen. Yeah, it's, but in it's your own true. little corner of influence, yeah. change how things are, the way your sons are, the way your daughters are, your brothers, your sisters. Just if you influence your family, and you do yours, and I do mine, be and it gradually the system will change. Because mm. to be honest, culture influences the system yeah. and the law, and even tr religion and tradition. We, as a people, make all of that. So if we have a change perspective, everything else will change. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Can, we talk about, can we talk about you? Sure. You sure? If you want to know. Why, like, you've never mentioned the community where that thing happened? Oh, um, River State. 
Oh God! Yeah. No, it's not so <laughs> but what I was really neat. I was. I, I went. My, 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 my mind went back because I did that uh, my next job in 2011. And we had some um, same thing when people came and insisted that we registered people. And to save our lives, we did actually. But when when we went back to our our supervisor, we told them that this guy, this person, this person, this person, yeah. this person. So we just we kept it kept it separate. Like this is what happened. We threatened us. So we registered these people. And this is it. We didn't put it in that computer. Was it mm. Le Lenovo they gave us that time also? No, we. Remember? The thing is, we at the time didn't even have a computer Ooh. in my okay, village. Okay, 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 so okay, it okay. meant that if I'd registered them, yeah. I had to collate you had them. To collate them, yeah. Except I now take them apart and throw it away. But then my partner, who was in the same polling center with me, knows the number. So when mm. we are now calculating, and the number is like, farm, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. Go yeah. align. Yeah. So and for me. That for me in itself is selling myself, selling my virtues. Mm. You know, sometimes I think perhaps I should have done it. Mm. Perhaps I should have saved myself the trouble yeah. and the heartbreak and heartache yeah, that yeah. that's happened to me over the years. Over the perhaps years. I could have. But then something gives me joy and happiness that, yes, it might have thought it took something away from me, but then it didn't take my soul. It didn't take my virtue from me. What I believe and all dearly, it didn't take it. So for that, I'm grateful to myself, no. you know, for not giving myself away. Um, I, d I don't know. I mean, it might sound insensitive, but I just believe at the time I did the right thing. I don't regret my decision. I regret the yeah, aftermath. Right but I don't, I don't regret my decision. Oh, and, you know, it is what it is. I'm, I'm happy where it has brought me because yeah. I took my pain and it's it's a gain for me. Mm. Same people's lives being changed and better yeah. and being able to share and talk to people about what I believe in. Yeah. Well, it's a great privilege. How's it been? Have you had <coughs> some like impact on people's life that's that's made you happy? Like victims or like things like, like women, fellow women too? A lot of them. Yeah. Uh, one of the ones that still warms my heart is of a girl who reached out to us on Twitter and she said oh, she had experienced sexual violence. She was she was m mentally a wreckage in our world yeah. and we took up a case and we did beautiful therapy with her and every time she sends me a text praying yeah. for me yeah. Yeah. That's dope. there is That's nothing dope. as important That's to me That's than just that one That's person yeah. Yeah. you know and several messages come um, there's a woman who says <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you yeah. know that she's gonna come and scatter Shema, the wedding Shema and show herself understood so it, it means a lot to me that you know I'm just not able to <sighs> talk to people, but I'm also able to use my pain as a strength for other people. That's dope. Okay. Do you also counsel male victims? Or yeah. So our organization is not, we're not gender biased. We do okay. both male. As a matter of our I first rape I case, you guys <laughs> our first rape case was of two mean? boys oh. that were being molested by, by a man. <laughs> yeah. Why? So, by by a man. But their neighbor. So yeah. we, we don't we do both men. Yeah, if you read the just um category. That's what I'm trying to say that. We have we have a we have a category here in Pulse. Okay. It's called gist. And every single day like almost every day or every you, you must read about a case of what you just said yeah. now or pedophilia. Yeah. Right. Especially you, yeah. That that pedophilia thing now. It seems is very we see huge. It's every day. It's three year olds, With four seven year olds. Like seven months. months. That's six like months. Mm. I, do, you, do you guys have anything for that too also? Yeah, yeah. we we treat Sometimes I feel like we're we're like <laughs> 360. <laughs> 360 come. That's what Nigeria will make you. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> so like you partner with hospitals. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah. We, we partner with hospitals across board um, for them to expedite the time of service that yeah. our clients receive. For some of the services, they are free from even the hospitals themselves. Yeah, they don't charge for some. We have to pay which we're happy to do, but we make sure that everything we're doing for survivors, it's free of charge, yeah. that they don't have to pay um, for whatever it is. We do, <sighs> I can't begin to explain, like almost every kind okay. kind of okay. case. And yeah. it breaks your heart to see, you know, when, when you see people talk about indecent dressing, and I see children, <laughs> and I can't yeah. even begin to explain. Yeah. You know, even hurts exactly. that I have to use an example of a child yeah. for you to get to it. Get it. Yeah. So like, Pedophilia it has been happening for a long time, time. but we just don't know the word for, for it. <laughs> my, <laughs> uncle, my uncle will yeah. sit on my say sit on your leg. He will be poking you, poking you. Later I will say, "What oh, this table? Don't tell mommy. I'll buy a sweet. I'll buy a sweet. Oh, don't tell mommy. You know, you know. 
and the, they take and trust. It's so mo it's so sad now. Like when I when I travel for my wedding and one of my aunts, she you know, she I think she has a eight eight to a year you know daughter, mm -hmm. and you know the way because I love babies. Like you know you carry babies and yeah. you know. So one of my friends who came to visit me, you know, uh, my guy married and he came and we we're just just in. I was like, ah, she was like, ah, man, so this baby chick just didn't, you know, like she was just, you know, and I said, ah, quiet me. He said, no, 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 because I, his elder sister, you know, frowns on the, on her own family. daughter, you know, carrying, like people carrying her own daughter, she does not allow it. I, like this thing has made people now mm. very, to be extra careful. careful and, you know, so you can't even carry paranoid, a baby. Yeah. People are paranoid. Like the guy was really paranoid. He said, bro, I don't go carry it. Now my daughter, my sister, my elder sister, my sister again, nobody go touch her more. You know, it, that's what he said. I was like, I'm not touching her. Like, he was so, he was so scared. He was like, I beg, can't carry her, no feet. You know, so the thing has made people now to be very, very extra careful. So you can't even carry babies innocently because people have been really, really, really. It's not, I can't even use the word stupid. Stupid is too soft for it. Animal. Back in the time yeah. before Colin pre-colonial era yeah. um we were a community and i'm sure you understand because you're yoruba so yeah. i'm sorry i'm going to use our context more yeah. and in the yoruba community women were more liberal they were vocal yeah. you know if i see if, if your yeah. mom sees me at the stream with a boy yeah. she'll yeah. go and tell my mother straight up because she feels like it's their responsibility yeah. to protect to me protect it was a community yeah. and so when things like this happen women are quick to frown against it yeah. and they ban the guy from the community yeah. and everything sure. but these days We've actually lost the essence of community. See, that you're my neighbor in Oshodi or Ikeja, whatever. It's not just buildings separating us. It's actually meant to be a community. Mm -hmm. We're supposed to watch out for each other and watch each other's backs. But now, because people have broken that community, that trust, everyone is being careful. And sometimes I feel so bad when I see fathers who say, Ayo, I don't bath my daughters. <sighs> It breaks my heart yeah. because as a father, you want to be able to share memories with your daughter. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, want to be yeah. able to be free, you yeah, know. Yeah, I yeah. made this, uh, like, this is my child. I, like, this is my child. Do you, yeah, do you, do you get, I, I legit created this, this being yeah, with yeah. God's stamp on it. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. this is your, your, daughter. your daughter. But then I can't bat my daughter. I can't carry her. Before somebody say, why are you pressing her breast from the side? Mm -hmm. You know, it's. It's really, really it's, damaging it's our damage. community. It's damaged. I won't, I won't lie you. It is. It, it, is, it actually. really needs to stop because yeah, yeah. it's depriving fathers of oh. memories yeah, of their thank you children. I depriving swear. children was, from even expressing was, them. When I was growing, my uncle used to carry me on his I neck. I swear, That's man. my best game in this <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Carry now they don't again. But, the, but now you can't. Really you can't. The guy legitimately yeah, said, ah, I can't carry and can't carry and can't carry. You can't. And it's... His own other sister won't allow it for people to come and carry... You know, I don't blame daughter. the other sister. She yeah. has heard. She has heard. She now. has seen. Yeah, yeah, Fathers helping their daughters, yeah. mm -hmm. uncles helping their nieces yeah, 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 and their yeah, yeah. nephews, and you're like, who can I trust? True. Even it makes it makes fathers begin to question themselves. Yeah, there's, as there's, well. a, there's a video on Instagram mm -hmm. uh, where uh, an Hollywood actor posted a photo, a video of him and I think his daughter. Yeah. They were kissing. Um, I read the comments and they were blasting this guy, mm -hmm. calling him all sorts of names. That guy is his, 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 his daughter. daughter. <laughs> what? Yeah, like, how can anybody attach anything to this? Like, it's scary now. Like, people have to be very careful. It's, it's, yeah. it's, it's, a, ma it's a major issue. Yeah, and I true. think we really, really need to address it because it's, it's, it's breaking a lot of people. Yeah, like, it's okay. really breaking people. You're depriving children, enjoying yeah. a good childhood. Like, I remember all my childhood stories of my uncles yeah, yeah, yeah. who didn't molest me, who were yeah. Yeah. kind very, and, very kind you know, and, yeah, it was a beautiful, I, I can't trade those memories with anything. Yeah. But you see, you, you know, you nowadays grow up, of, that's your uncle. Yeah. I don't know him. Yeah. yeah. How now? Yeah. You know, so we need to do better as, as a family. Any support from government in any way? As then if you you know, though I expect, I, I know your answer is going to be there. Just please surprise, please, <laughs> surprise, please. As it is, please surprise, please surprise me. Um, Choke me. <laughs> <laughs> I, would, I would say the, the support is good, but it's not great. Mm. Mm, I'm shocked. Um, <laughs> I think there's so much more government can do yeah. um, in assisting us. We're not, see, NGOs are not, we're not antagonizing you. As a matter of fact, we're carrying we're the load carrying where yeah. Yeah. you are lacking. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, before some agencies 
were brought together to start functioning. Stair was there carrying out load where there was, a de um, there was nothing the on ground. Yeah. We were carrying out load. So we are working in collaboration with you because if we as a people fail, our nation fails, and it's on, it's on everybody. But if I carry one load, you carry education, you carry health, he carries budget or whatever, you know, we're equally contributing to our economy and our future. So the, the support hasn't really, really been good. Um, I'm grateful for what I have now, but, but I'm hoping I can have, um, have better. I'm trying to work with some state governments to have like shelters and yeah. mm. crisis centers in their states, you know. I shouldn't have to ask. Yeah, it should be there. Yeah, it should be there. Um, but I mean, it's, it's a bit of bottleneck. You want to get government partnership on the projects that would not benefit you, but yeah. the people you want to address. And, yeah. and then the NGO bill, which is the top of it. Uh, did, did you see the yeah. bill? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I saw that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, remember. I remember. So government is doing everything they can <laughs> to just push us away yeah. and I tell people I like that bill you know why because when we quit then we'll not see right now yeah. we're not seeing the problem Nigeria has yeah. because there are some NGOs yeah, that and INGOs yeah. lifting the weight sure. when we all redo we say we're carry your load by yourself then we'd understand how much of it <laughs> Nigeria <laughs> is is That's is it. at the moment That's so true. It can be better. We're hoping for more support from yeah, government. This, this is a very, very good project. Though. Like, yeah. Yeah, you. you said, you, said yeah. like, you have a relationship with hospitals. Yeah. How about the Nigerian police? Oh. We, are, no, we have to ask for our brothers in, in the uniform. <laughs> they are your brothers, not So cases brothers. of rape, do you take them to the, to the police? Do you take yes. it up legally? Yes, they are the ones that can actually prosecute yeah, the rape case. And how has been the success rate of that? <sighs> Compared yeah. to the report, mm -hmm. uh, we can do better. Um, I mean, I, I've worked in New York and I see how it works, how the system functions there. And it's, it's w in fact, way better than what we have. But I know, I know some stations that are doing great work. There are some officers that I know. Yeah. Shout out to late CSP Shekun Fagbongo. That's a guy that I can be asleep and call him at 2 a.m. for a rape case and he'll answer me. Mm. That's a guy that legit turned his office into a shelter when there was none. He wow. left his office, turned, bought bed, was feeding the girl two four seven every day till her case was was, was taken closed. to court. Yeah, okay. So there are there are many yeah. uniform who actually take, for example, CSP um, Agbonika. It it cannot hear about a rape case and not swift into action. There are men who take this in seriously, but th that the proportion of men who take it seriously and those who don't even pay attention, nah. It's yeah, right it's here, really like right much. here. Mm. Some even tell you, domestic violence is a family case. Yeah, yeah. Out, Madam, what were you saying to him? Were yeah, you, you shouting? Yeah, you're you're shout, you're, you're loud. Just, you're imagine loud. Going to, just, going, just imagine going to uh, in Nigerian police station to report marital rape. At like 10 p.m. Yeah, Your husband rape you. Bro, go, 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 go. This was it. I was going to rape him. They just start laughing at you. Yeah. And that's like, why we have family <laughs> support unit, FSUs, across Lagos State and in other parts of the country. And FSU is basically... They handle other cases, but their their core is sexual and gender based violence. Yeah, Lagos has so that I, yeah, so that yeah. I don't have to go to a Jangbadi station and they might tell me open fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come back tomorrow. Come back next tomorrow. We'll transfer you. No, I know where exactly, exactly I'm going yeah, to, and they'll take up my case. And you know, the investigation process so. takes long because I have a case. Um, rest in peace, um, Obiamaka Arakwe. Died July 2017 till date. In fact, as a matter of fact, the police went there after she had died. The police be asked the hospital and the family to bury her body without doing an autopsy or checking her to get evidence. Till today, I'm still on their case. Nobody has been arrested. 2017, July. Imagine and she what. Died. And she died. The father. Can't, in fact, the mother hasn't been to the house since July. She said she can't live in the house. She, can't, she just can't imagine that someone will come into her home, rape her daughter. Oh, that what? case that was yeah. trending, that lady, that girl. Yeah. Yeah. Raped the daughter. Which one is that? Used, the used a window. rock. Yeah. yeah. She just has three. Mm -hmm. Used a rock and smashed her head, skull open. Mm. She bled to death. And not one person. Has been arrested. Till today, has been arrested. No, in fact. 
And you know what annoys me with Nigerian police? If it's something they really want to do, they'll do it. They'll do it. Uh -uh. Didn't they, bro, chase, bro. didn't they chase some so, so, guys, do you hear do you hear some cases of armed robbers who maybe commit crimes in Delta State and they relocate to play two or something, something, and they get them? Yeah. Didn't they get Bonner Boys and uh, the people the, that run Bonner Kaduna, Kaduna and they found them? If they really want to do it, and yeah. maybe the government, the opposition is involved, you see how they investigate that really, really good. The two Canadian sisters that are deported. The, yes, now they're very, very they handle that case now. It's, even it's so even sad. investigating the case, you have to tip. Yeah. To move, God, you have to mobilize. You have to do this. You have to. Do. So sometimes people don't understand how much NGOs spend on rape cases. Yeah. Like it's really expensive, from the medical to the legal to the psychosocial. Because some of them will say, in some cases, it's their uncle. Like we yeah. have a client, and thank you to Pulse. Shout out to Pulse. Um, you guys supported us during the time. There was a client of ours who was being raped by her uncle, mm. and the uncle was one responsible for her tuition. Oh and so God. he says, if you speak out, You're gone. then yeah. no more school yeah. for you. So she kept it quiet, and then someone reached us on her behalf, and then we reached her. Okay. And then she opened up, and then we relocated her to a different place, and we're paying for our tuition. Wow. And Paul's help us put that word out for donations. So sense. thank you guys, we're very grateful. And talking about donations to to the NGO, people, to yeah. stay, how do people do I people have donate. you know do you have like public do you make public accounts um, you know account numbers so people can pay in? Yeah, because that's something I would basically love to be doing now yeah. because I love doing. So if people want to help you guys, yeah, how I love motherless. I have something for motherless babies home. Like okay. I love them so much. So sometimes extra cash like this. No matter how small, they are really, really small sometimes, yeah. <laughs> you know, but I, I do the best I can. And this is something really people can really stay up paying attention Thank to. Thank you. So yes, yeah. we do have accounts. Um, on our website is a donate page um, oh, okay. where you can donate. Or you What's can the just website, please? Um, www.standtoendrape.org. Spell out in full, stand to end Okay, www.standto. E N D R A P E dot org okay. forward slash donate and then it takes you straight to the page. You can donate it um, and then you can also ask for our account numbers on Twitter or any social media account. We're at Stand to End Rape together. You can always ask us for our account. Well, on the website, you can see the account number. Yeah, okay. it's right there on the All account right. on, on the website. Yeah, that makes sense. Shagun, we good? I think this has been a very yeah. enlightening episode. Thank you very, yeah. very, very much. I think we are at least Steve now knows yeah, yeah, yeah. it's better. <laughs> it's better. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> don't, don't try me. We <laughs> <laughs> oh, have pretty much work anyway. But uh, uh, still, I needed the... What? <laughs> <laughs> I needed the cancer. Oh, man. Thank, thank, you, thank you very thank much. You for thank you very much. Thank you for having me. You are doing a great work. Thank Hopefully, you. one yeah. day, the guys in Asso Rock, when they're giving out uh, all those their national honors. Yeah. <laughs> the one they give to themselves. The one they give to them, <laughs> to the yeah, caucus. Yeah, 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 yeah. One yeah. day they give you an MON, you know, because yeah. you're actually yeah. doing great really, work. Really, really proud. Like, you. I got to know about you from Shegun, and I read of and from our conversation, you really, really... Thank, yeah. you. thank you. Just thank you very much. Thank, thank you. That was a lot thank to me. Much. Thank you. And thank you, guys. guys. Thank you for listening. Man. <laughs> Uh, um, we're still with Osage is still missing. Osage is still missing. <laughs> Twitter him, please, and ask him, where I'm are sure, you, sir? I'm sure when he comes back, you have an accent. <laughs> <laughs> but go past them. Go past them. Go past them. Go past them. Don't go see me my accent plenty. Even my data stay on. I drop it. It's Jesus true. You go to you no get accent. You don't want to go to Russia. It's putting out change. I want to go to Russia. I don't die. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. See next, you next week. Peace.